Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build an Albion class landing platform dock. So it's also kind of known as an assault ship. It's a pretty cool amphibious warfare ship. Uh, currently in service with the uh, Royal Navy. I almost said US Navy for some reason. But it is with the Royal Navy. And I believe one of them is currently our flagship until the Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers are properly put into commission. So it's a pretty big ship. It's a total of 179 blocks long, 39 blocks wide, and 49 blocks high. It's a pretty big one. It's almost an aircraft carrier, but it's not quite in size. It's actually probably going to be a little bit com more complicated than an aircraft carrier, just due to everything on the big superstructure and, and things like that. But it is quite a big one, especially for one of these modern ships. So as with all my tutorials, or all my big tutorials, I'm going to be doing this one layer by layer. This is just the easiest way to set it out, and in the top left hand corner there will be the actual layer number that we're on, so it might be layer number 1, layer number 2, and it will keep on going up. Of course when we get to the main superstructure, it will be a little bit different, it will probably stop doing layer by layer stuff. Instead I'll probably say, you know, front anchor system. So I'll be, you know, I'll be actually describing the exact part that we're actually working on, so it makes it a little bit easier. This just allows you guys to take a break and actually come back to it, so you might say, or you might be able to even count up your own ship of how far you got. If you got to layer number 5, you've done that one. You'll be able to then skip through the video and find layer number 6 and get it at the start of that one. So it makes it really easy to split these up. And I, I just find it the easiest way to do these tutorials. So the texture pack I am using is LD Modern. It's a texture pack that I'm currently working on. But this ship will work 100% in defaults or any other texture pack. It doesn't really have anything special or different or anything like that, so I'll make sure that if there is any switch outs or any special stuff that I use, I'll make sure to tell you guys a kind of equivalent switch out, at least in the default texture pack. Obviously can't tell you in every single texture pack that's out there because there's a hell of a lot, but I will make it generalized so you can figure it out from there. But as a general rule, whatever color it is, you know, just find out your closest color or something that you prefer and then work with it. So if you do end up using this build on a map or a server, please do give me credit for my design. This really helps me get my name out there. It's really good for me as a channel and it's really good for you guys because if you know I get bigger as a channel, I get more subscribers, I get more views on these type of tutorials, that really helps me because then that will keep me going. Whereas if my channel dies and I don't get any, I'll just stop doing these and you won't have these awesome kind of builds to actually put into your world and to make it easier for those that struggle with ships. So just by putting up a sign in the actual bridge section, if you do have it on the server, that can help me. But make sure that you put a sign right next to it to say your name as well. So, you know, for example, you'd have one saying designed by Lord Dacker, and then you have another one say built by, and then put your name. So then you're getting credited as well, because you have sat through this tutorial, and it's a very, very big, long tutorial. I'm sure it's going to be one of the longer ones that I've had. Um, but they're generally quite difficult to get through, and, you know, you do deserve to be credited for it. So let's get started on this tutorial. Okay, so before we begin, what we're going to do is I'm just going to tell you where to build underneath the water if you're building underneath the water. This is a rare one because it's got the back door where you've got all of these uh, landing bits and it all goes all the way back there. So if you did want this flooded, for example, if you actually wanted the water, if you wanted it to look like these are actually coming out with tanks, with Humvees, and I've got tutorials for all of these, and I'll probably spam the uh, description with a load of these so that you guys have an idea of what I've put in. Um, as well as all these back here, so you can see there's quite a lot of, of bits and pieces, but um, it depends where you actually want it. If you want to have the door closed, it'll be a different point of where you're starting from, uh, or if you want it halfway, it'll be a different point. But what I recommend doing is, if we're going to have the back door open, now I'm going to use blue wool, I'm actually going to use light blue wool, this will be your water layer, so this is exactly the same as if you had... Uh, and I'm not going to do it because it just spills everywhere and it lags a little bit. But um, there we go. That's where your water is. So the light blue wall is your water level. So if you wanted it to actually be like that and actually have your water on this dock part. So you have all the water filling up this. We're actually going to be across here. And you can see that from it's actually different from my other ones because this ship, the way that actually does open this back door and allows ships in is it sinks itself a little bit. And it usually sinks itself at the back, so it would actually be, um, this back section here would actually get kind of heavier, and then it would actually be angled a little bit. Obviously we can't do that in Minecraft easily, <laughs> especially not in a tutorial, otherwise I'd have to do multiple versions for multiple stages of it being uh, kind of 
submerged to allow things into it. But um, yeah, so I've had to make it straight, and it does mean that we kind of cut up a little bit more. So there we go, we've got this here. So if you then would put a block right next to the water, so this would have water all the way around it like this. We're actually going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven blocks under. So what I advise doing if you're on the console versions is shove a block right down there, seven blocks underneath the water, and that will allow you to be on the dock side here. The other thing you could do is you could actually, if you wanted this door open, for example, is only have the water layer here. So one, two, actually I'm just going to bring this out here. So if you had it out this way, and I'll show you how to close the door as well and have a have an actual closed door uh, going up to the top. But if you did want that, it would only be one, two, three, four, and five blocks. And again, if you wanted it halfway, so if you wanted the water here, it would just be six blocks. So it's up to you uh, what kind of stage you want. I recommend having the water going into it because it looks pretty awesome. Uh, and compared to other ships, it just looks a bit better. So I advise having seven blocks underneath the water. It does make it a little bit more of a pain for you guys in the console that have to shove a load of sand in. But that is where I recommend it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly explain how I do my tutorials in case you haven't seen these before. And it's pretty easy. So the way that I do it is I do it, of course, layer by layer, as I said in the intro section, but I also do it only on one side. This helps me cut the tutorial length in half. And I know you're probably looking at the length of this video and going, wait, it could have been twice as long. But yes, helps me cut it in half. So, for example, if I just said 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, I'll then say, do it on the other side, and then we'll get on to the next one. And what I mean by this is just press the pause button, and then you'll just be going, okay, so there's a 1 there, 3 there, and then 1 there. You've just done the entire thing on the other side. It just cuts out all those extra blocks because I've told you the numbers. It makes it a little bit easier. If you do get stuck, you can just watch that section again, and again use the top left-hand corner part where it says the layer number or the part number. That will save you so much more time, trust me. It saves me time in editing as well. But that's how I'm going to be doing these tutorials. But anyway, that's enough chatting. Let's get started on this. Okay, so for layer number one, again, seven blocks under if you're doing it with the dock open. But you should have put down a block there uh, by watching that section. But what we're going to do is we're just going to start on layer number one. So... First thing we're going to do is going to have a 1, then we're going to have a 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then we're going to have a 3, 1, 2, and 3. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have 6 sets of 2. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we've got 6 sets of 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you do have difficulty counting these, what I recommend doing is grabbing a kind of different coloured wool and shoving that on top. Just at any of those sections, then you can quickly go to the side and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It allows you to count really easily, so that's a really good technique if you guys do, um, if you're either you know non-native English speakers or, or whatever. It just makes it a little bit easier on that side. So then we're going to have three sets of three. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and 3. Three sets of three. And now we're going to have 96 blocks. Yeah, almost 100. Now I'm going to be using World Edit, which is a mod. This actually helps me just count it out. As you can see in the actual chat bar, it's actually helping me count out. So I'm going to be pulling this back. If you do need to count it, you know, probably pause it, get to 96, make sure you're on 96. This is the most important layer out of all of them, as it'll be sitting on top of all the rest. Uh, so it does make it, this is the one you kind of want to get 100% right. You want to be sure that it's right. But as you can see, I'm just pulling this back. There we go. 96 blocks in total. So there we go. What we're going to now, what we're now going to do, even... I can actually speak, is we're going to start moving inwards. So we've got the front part, we're now going to go out and we're going to go move inwards towards the center line. So make sure you've got your center line there. And what we're going to do is we're going to have two sets of four, one, two, three, and four, another four, one, two, three, four. So there we go, two sets of four. Don't know why I said number four, don't ask. Then we're going to have a three, one, two, three, a two, one, two. Then we're going to have four sets of one, one, two, three, and four, like that. Now we're going to have two going across. So we've got two going across like this. So you can see that we're actually rounding this off. We've got this here, and it's going to go two across the side. Now I've got this ship here so that you know where the front is, you know where the back is. So, you know, use that in the background to figure out where you are in relation to your own ship. And then we're just going to have three blocks going across here. One, two, and three. Like that. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing the same on the other side. Now because this is the actual uh, kind of bottom layer, I'm going to do it at this one with you guys, just to show you what I mean. So normally you would pause the video, and then you would go, okay, so we've got a two going across here. 
Then we had four sets of one. One, two, three, and four. Then what we've got here, we've got a two. And you would literally just be looking over there. If you need to, count them out. So then you've got three blocks here. One, two, three. We've got a four and a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this is where the 96 comes in. So if I'm just going to, again, do this. And we'll drag this one all the way back. But it's, it's just a lot easier just to show you guys on one side rather than it is on showing you on both sides because it just does, it really does cut out half of the actual uh, length of the video. It makes it easy for editing, makes it easier for you guys. And then I'm not repeating things, which is always nice. So there we go, that's 95, 96. So that's the good thing about world edit, I do advise getting that. And then we've got three sets of three here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is where we had six sets of two. So you've got one, two, two, two. Oh, not that way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then three. One, two, three. Then a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll give you the shape. There we go. So that's what shape you should have. Um, and if you guys are wondering why I'm building this one out of the water, it's just because I can do stuff like this. Otherwise, you couldn't see anything at all. It makes it easy for you guys to see. So what you're now going to do is pause the video and you're going to fill up all this. If you do have World Edit installed, you can do slash slash fill r and then we're going to do 35 colon 14 and probably about 200 so if you have got this on the bottom and you've got the bottom layer make sure you've got that but you can do this that will fill up the entire shape as you can see and that's all i have to do as you can see it's 2799 blocks so i do apologize to you guys on the console versions it's a lot easier on pc anyway now what we're going to do is get onto layer number two Okay, and now for layer number two. So if you come to the front, all you're going to do is going to go forwards by one block here. So we've got a one. Then we're going to have a one. Then a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have a four. One, two, three, four. Now you'll notice there's an extra block here. Just add one in there, like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have five sets of two. So you've got one, two, 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 and Two. So we've got one, two, three, four, five sets of two. We have three sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just like that. Then we're going to have a four. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to have a 94. So again, we're going out quite a bit. And again, I'm going to be using World Edit to count this out. But what I'll try and do is I'll make it in relation to this so that you guys don't have to actually count this out block for block. That's why getting the bottom layer is really important. So I just drag this back. You can see how far it goes or how short it is of the last one. Uh, if I can actually do this properly. There we go. So if we just bring it right in line with this one, that's 94 blocks. There we go. So that's what you need to do. That's why I, I kind of advise watching this part and then seeing, okay, it needs to just be directly in line with that one. So there we go. We got your 94. Do I want to do that fill thing? There we go. Like that. Then we're going to do is we're going to go start moving inwards. We're going to have a four, one, two, three, and four. Another four, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a three, one, two, three, a two, one, two. There we go, one, two. Now, if you grab a block of iron and also a block of gold, what we're going to do is we're going to get the propellers done. Yay! So if we just move to this point, this is going to be our starting block. This is going to be eight in total. So you go go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Grab your red wall. Put one on the bottom. Put one on the side. Put one on the side. So that's just a little uh, kind of connecty piece. That, well, I think it just stabilizes the actual rudder. Uh, not rudder, the propellers. But then what we're going to do is we're going to add five more iron. One, two, three, four, five. Grab your block of gold. Put two of those on, and then on each diagonal, just add a block of gold to create this propeller. Pretty cool. You're going to leave a one block gap. So I'm going to use this light blue wall just to do that. And then we're going to have five. One, two, three, four, five, like this. Take away that one. I actually do need to quickly check because I can't remember this, but I think four is here. One, two, three, and four, like that. I'm pretty sure it is. If it isn't, I'll correct myself or correct you guys in a second. Um, but then you're going to move to the inside part. And we're going to go one, 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 one. So we got four sets of one, like that, two going across, and then three going across the back. So what you guys, guys will be doing is pausing the video, doing it the same on the other side, 
and then we'll get on to the next one. Okay, and now for lane number three. So if you come right to the front, what we're going to do is we're going to place a block directly on top of the last one, and we're going to add one to each side. Boom, and boom. So we're just doing the bulbous bell. It's one of my early ones. It's it's not great. <laughs> I've got to be honest. It's not the best one at all. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have five. One, two, three, four, five, and another five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to have a total of five sets of two. So you're going to have one, two. I'm just going to be counting these one, two, three, four, five, and go up that way. But um, so one, two, three, four, five. So five sets of two. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Then we have three sets of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we have a four. One, two, three, four. A five, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Just double checking that one. Then we have a 90. So what we're going to do again is I'm going to use world edit. I'm just going to tell you where it is in relation to the last one. I think it's just the easiest way to do it for you guys. It, it just saves you counting out 90 blocks when it might just be one short of the last one. So let's just drag this all the way back. And I got 85. It is. There we go. Look. When it is right next to it as well. So just bring it in line. I think all of these ones seem to be quite in line. It's, it is an old ship that I've done. So, you know, I built it like a year ago. Mm. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start moving inwards by four blocks. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. So we've got those four blocks there. Another four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a three. One, two, three. Then a two. One, two. Now we're going to have a total of six sets of one. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. And again, we're going to have two going across, and three going across. One, two, three, like that. So, if we just go to the back rudder section, I'll always do the main hole, and then I'll do the rudder part. We're just going to build up an extra layer here on top. So it actually wraps all the way around. And for the rudder, just add an extra five blocks like that. So, if you do the same on the other side, we'll get on to layer number four. Okay, and now for layer number four, come to the front, place a block directly on top, so you get this kind of cross shape. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have three sets of three. So you've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As you can see, we start to kind of round off this front part. Bulbous bells always kind of round off like such. So then we're going to have a total of five sets of two. <laughs> What's said three then? Five sets of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So then double check. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, five. There we go. Five sets of two. Pretty cool. And then we're going to have three sets of three. So you got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three sets of three. As you can see, it's an earlier design, so there's a lot of repeating patterns going up the layers. But yes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two sets of four. So you got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Then a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now you're going to have an 85. So again, what I'm going to do is just use the good old world edit, drag this all the way back. And here we go. Let's see where we are, because you don't want to count our 85 blocks. You really don't. <laughs> so keep on dragging this one back. There we go. Put that in line. 85. Look at that. Nice and easy. That's the good thing about these uh, older ships. At least they are stupidly easy to uh, figure out where you are. Then we can start moving inwards. We're going to have four. One, two, three, and four. Another four. One, two. Two, three, four. Then we're gonna have a three. One, two, three. A two, one, two. Now we're gonna have seven sets of one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then two going across, and then three going across. There we go. Got there in the end. Then what we're gonna do for the rudder is build this one up. So a connecting piece at the back. Put five on top. But this time we're also gonna add one block to each of the faces. So we've got five here. One at the back, and five here, and then one at the front, or one at the back. You know what I mean. So yeah, do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, now for layer number five. So if you come to the front, what we're going to do is going to be moving back by one block. That's where, where we're going to start. So back from one block, this is going to be a three. One, two, three. So there you go. Three blocks across like that. And they're going to have a two, and then a one. Then a three, one, two, three, then a one. And now we're going to have three sets of two. So you've got one, two, three. Three sets of two, like that. They're going to have a three, 
one, two, three, a two, one, two, and then a three, one, two, three, a three, one, two, three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have two sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And then a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to have a hundred blocks. <laughs> yeah. And then what we're going to do is I'll make it easy. And you'll notice that this one's on top now, so it's starting to go up a bit more straight. Stop to go out as much, which makes it easier for us tutorial-wise, kind of. And we've still got loads, as you can see from the uh, actual ship. There we go. So if we bring that onto the top, that gives us 87. So we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there we go. Add 13 blocks onto that, and that'll give you the right number. So bring it out to the outside there, then 13 blocks extra there. You can kind of see that, I think. There we go, if we just undo that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move in, and we're going to have 21. So you got this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have 27 going across. So we're just going to move to this point. It's going to be 27. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There we go. You can see that we've got this like huge back on the ship. Uh, this needs to be really flat at the back. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side here. So I have 21 blocks. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And of course, this will be you know, going all the way back there. And what we need to do is we need to fill up all of this back section. So wherever you've got a gap, just fill this all in. So I won't be doing that with you guys, but, uh, you know, I think you get the idea of just all of this needs to be filled in on this layer. Like this. Like that. And then fill all of that in. But what we're going to do is we're also going to be building the ramp. So this is if you have the ramp down. Uh, if you don't, ignore this. I'll show you another way when we've got the entire thing built up. But you're going to need a light grey wool for this. And we're just going to move in by one block. So to here, I'm going to go four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to move inwards. I'm going to have four. So we've got one, two, three, four. So we get this. So again, if you if you are doing it you know, up, then don't bother. But you know, if you aren't, do it this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then join these two. Just going straight across. And oh God, if I can actually place the blocks, there we go. Like, not like that. Like that. There we go. So we got that there. Now five of these are going to be solid. So this is from the back. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And then you're just going to bring this across. And this will all be solid. You'll notice that there's a weird little bit here. It'll be actually blank. Um, it just it just looks like the way that the actual ramp works. So if we just oh there we go, fill up all of this and all this, and all this. Pretty cool. There we go. And also this part. So fill up all of this section here at the back and bring that all around to the other side and we'll get on to layer number six. Okay and now for layer number six. So if you come to the front, go two blocks back and go into the third. So you've got leaving these two. We're then going to just have this one as a 1, then we're going to have a 2, and then a 1. And now we're going to have a ton of 2s. So we're actually going to have 7 2s. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. So definitely double count on this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just like that, we're going to have two sets of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, Two and three like that. Then we have two sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four like that. And we have five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then one hundred twenty-three. <laughs> yeah, what a ridiculous number. Um, so yeah, one hundred twenty-three blocks from here. Again, I'll just drag this all the way back. We'll see where it lands, and it makes it a lot easier for you folks. I wish I'd done this earlier in my like, really early tutorials when they went on forever. Especially aircraft carriers and things, so yeah, let's just keep on going. Let's drag this until it's on top. I'm sure it's going to be there. 
So when you got it on top, we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, which should bring you right next to there. Ah, <sighs> I wish I didn't count those extra 21 blocks, but anyway, yeah, just bring it directly in line with that one there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks going across this part, so we're going to go one, two, and three like that. So you can see it gets really stupidly flat, really. And now what we're going to do is for this front part, just this back piece here, we're going to go one, two, three, and uh, fill all of this up like that. And keep on filling up this, so we're just up on a little higher level, so you can see it's kind of like steps down a bit around to the sides. There we go. So then we've got that. What we're going to do is we're going to start grabbing either grey wool, or if you've got my texture pack, you can use cobblestone. I kind of like my cobblestone texture as a grey, so I'm actually going to use that. I know it doesn't look like cobblestone. But what we're going to do from here, just place a block there. We're going to go back a total of 65 blocks. And... There's not really any marker I can use, unfortunately, but um, yeah, bring this back to 65 blocks. This is actually the inner bay. If you don't want to build the inner bay, don't worry about it, but I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do it like I've done it. Just makes that a little bit nicer, I think. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, I, again, it doesn't even have to be exactly, you know, 65. There we go. I'm going to do 68, for example. Um, or should I? Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. We'll see where it all works out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using World Edit as well to just fill this in. So if you guys have got World Edit, there we go. So that will just select those. And I'm just going to do Set 4. That's Cobblestone. If you do it in Light Grey Wool, uh, not Light Grey Wool, Dark Grey Wool, it's 35 colon 7. It's up to you. you know, if you just do that for this kind of uh, back bit, that will give us a deck to actually start working. And you can see it goes quite far in. And I'll just show you what it looks like on the inside if you want to, if you want to do it or if you don't want to do it. Doesn't really matter, so there we go, we've got the ramp down here. This will just go back all the way into the ship, and you see we're going to be building up this side piece as well. Um, so I'll be showing you how to do all of this part, including the ramp. Uh, so we actually get a ramp going all the way up, and probably even to this back wall, I think I might as well. Uh, I won't be showing you, yeah, there we go, I haven't even done this part, but I think it's an extra storage place. I'm not really too sure. <laughs> I haven't actually been on the ship, and I, I couldn't find any good pictures. But yeah, that's what we're building right now, this this inside part and I'm going to be doing that as part of the tutorial so you guys get at least most of it built up. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, now we're on to layer number 7. So layer number 7 is actually the black layer. So what we're actually going to do to make this a little bit easier is instead of me using black wool, because if I did for example a wall like this, that's just, that's not usually just an example to show you guys. If I for example put a block here, can, can you actually see that? No, probably not. <laughs> there you go, you can see that there's one there. Um, so, it's mainly due to video editing and, and stuff and putting it on YouTube. You just can't see black. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be making it out of blue, which is very, very clear. And it'll make it easy for you guys, but you will be using a black layer of wool. Anyway, enough of that rubbish. Let's go to the front, we're going to go forward by one block. So you've got this one here. We're then going to have two sets of two. One, two, one, two, like that. Then a one. And then we're going to have lots of twos. We're actually going to have five sets of two. One, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two. So we've got one, two, three, four, five sets of two in total. Then we're going to have a three. One, two, and three. Then a two. Then a three. One, two, and three, like that. Then we're going to have two sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Then a five, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna have a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're gonna have eighty-two blocks. So I use good old world edit for this one. And we'll just drag this all the way back. We'll see where it lands, see if we need to cut off a bit or add a bit or whatever we need to do, basically, <laughs> to make it easier. So keep on dragging this one. Let's have a look. That's fifty-three. So keep on dragging this one. And, what did I say? I said 82. Okay, so we need to go back quite a bit from here. So if we actually, let's bring it in line with, I think this is a, a good line to actually keep it from. So that will give us 94 blocks in total. So we need to get this to 82, so we're actually going to knock off 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
then that will give us 84. So we need to look at another 2. 1, 2. That'll bring us, if you see this one here, we're just one past, I guess. That's the easiest way to do it, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> that's where we're going to be. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have 35 blocks. 1. And again, I'll double check. I'm pretty sure it just goes to the end. So don't bother counting them. It'll, it'll be fine. So if we bring it to here, that brings us to a total of 33. So we go 34, 35. There we go. So that's 35 blocks. So if you just do deselect that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add an extra three blocks on this. One, two, and three blocks like that. So I'll bring this across the side. So it just goes around. Um, I'm just going to double check this quickly. Okay, so yeah, that is correct. Real. <laughs> so it's good. I was just worried about it being you know, just over that much. But um, yeah, that's actually completely and utterly correct. So now, if you grab white wool, we're just going to have 64 blocks of white wool behind it. This one we do have to count, unfortunately. But um, I'll see where we are in comparison. Now, I made this one, this floor, random. Didn't really make it exact. So I'm just going to see if there's a nicer point. From Probably from here, we'll start counting. So if you, for example, bring it in line with this, this gives you 34 blocks. So I just can add 30 blocks onto that. That's all right, isn't it? So bring it in line with that and then just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So there we go. That should give you 64 blocks. So just go to that, 30 blocks. It at least cuts off a little bit of it. So... What do we have when we actually do that? Well, what you're going to need is you're going to need to grab something like stone stairs or some sort of grey that roughly matches this. This is why my cobblestone is quite useful because I've got you know grey stairs uh, with them. But what we're going to have is 11 stairs going across. So you've got one, and this is right next to this block just in case you're wondering. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Now if you put down a white piece of wool, this one's going to go a total of 44 blocks. So, you're just going to have to count this one, sorry guys. Uh, I don't think there's any way we can do it like, easier, I guess. Um, but, yeah, so there we go. 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. So, 44 blocks, you, you'll just have to actually grab that. Um, for those of are wondering how many far is it from here, maybe that'll make it easier for you. If you need to double check, it's 20 blocks. So, you'll have a 20 block gap of this light grey that we got. Uh, not light grey, the grey. Uh, to actually get to that point. Um, but that is it for um, kind of like a little back section as well. So do the same on the other side and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, so we're now on to the light grey wool layer. So we've actually only got, well, 13 <laughs> layers of this left. So we've done this little bottom piece. But you know, we've only got 11 to the main bit and right, if you count the, the top part here, it's 13. We're not doing too badly, you know. It's going to take a while, but um, yeah, it'll be alright. So we're going to start with uh, our light grey wool. That's what I'm using. Tons of different things you can use. If you've seen my other tutorials, I've, I go through them like loads. You know, you've got stone and light grey wool, sign stain, clay, iron, blah, 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 loads. I'm just going to use light grey wool. Choose a, choose a grey. That's what you need to do. So place one block directly on top of the last one. We're then going to have a one, then a two, and another two, like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a 1, so we've got 1 here. Then we're going to have 4 sets of 2, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you've got 4 sets of 2 in total. Then we're going to have 3 2s, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to have a 2. Then we're going to have 2 sets of 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Another 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to have a 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then a 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, then we're going to have 120, yeah, that's pretty pretty massive, um, I'm pretty sure this one just goes all the way back, I think it's even on top of the last one, right at the back, you know, where we did that before, I, I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it is, so, yeah, drag this one all, problem with the long ships, they, uh, they go on for a while, they <laughs> really do. Yeah, so just keep on dragging this. There we go. If you bring it right to this point, I'm pretty sure that's 120. Yeah, it's 120 blocks. Yeah, so just just do that. <laughs> it's much easier than counting. Then we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, directly on top of that one. Now, we're going to need a type of wood. I'm going to use spruce wood. I don't know why, but uh, 
There's this kind of woodish part that I saw from an interior picture. I couldn't tell it was really dark on the inside, but I, I thought it was wood. It was like a layer of white and then wood, then black, so I'm going to use spruce. But just bring this on top, So you need to do. So, yeah, that's here. Uh, bring this all the way back. Uh, keep on bringing this one back. There we go. If you actually bring it back one more uh, than the last layer like that, Grab your stone stairs again and bring those across. Like that. And then we're gonna have another piece of wood. So again that one's you know back by one. Uh bring this all the way back. And this is actually gonna be one short. That's that's what's gonna be. It kind of moves in. So this gives you the the two bays. I've actually got the tutorials already out for actually the small ships on the side and also the ones on the inside, as well as all the helicopters and stuff. Uh, those tutorials have been out for ages. Um but this is where you can put them in. Uh, what I might actually do, uh, obviously you do the same on the other side and all that kind of junk, but I'll just quickly show you. Uh, if you wanted to build them on the inside, you could do. There you go. You can see the bases that I've used here. So maybe I'll count out where I've put them in. Um, obviously you can see that I mean, this is how I do my tutorials, if you guys already don't know. I just have to count these individually and then take them out. There you go, seven. Um, but this is what I did. So I had my four of them in here, which is how many of the real ships got. And I'll link all of the tutorials in the description, or at least the major ones like these, and maybe some of the vehicles. But if you want it to look like that, um, and have them all inside, if you don't want to have any of them outside, then where you need to put it, there we go. So, one block of grey, then you've got your actual ship base, which is... Da -da 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 -da. It's actually 26, and then you've got the stairs. And then you're going to have, and actually I'll do it from this side, it's going to be easier that way. But then you go one, two, three, and then have this part. I don't know how I did it in the tutorial because it's been about a year. So anyway, if you want to put those in, you can actually build those now. And uh, while you can actually see everything, uh, that will fit into this little area. But anyway, do the same on the other side and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, and now for layer number nine. So if you come to the front, we're going to go forwards by one block and this will be your starting block. And then we're going to have a two. One, two. Now a one, and now what we're going to do is we're going to have, and I'm having to read off a page, so we've got seven sets of two. Good God, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you want to use that technique, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, so we've got seven sets of two. That's quite a lot, actually. Uh, we're then going to have three sets of three. One. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have a four, one, two, three, four. Then a five, one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna have a seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're gonna have a hundred twenty-one. Now we knew the last one was hundred twenty. This is one more on this front, so it's it's gonna be on top. So I'm not even gonna check because I know it is. So there we go. Drag this one all the way back. And here. And keep on pulling this one back. My god, it's going to take a while, isn't it? But it'll be alright. So, drag this one, drag this one. God damn it, there we go. Now it's on top. <laughs> what you're going to do is just go 1, 2, 3, 4, just exactly the same. Grab a black piece of wool. Now, I am going to use black for this piece because it's just on top. So, just make sure it's on top. I think people can see that quite easily, even though you can't really see black very well. Just, just continue on top anyway, it's fine. So, get this on top, this on top, and we'll just go back, and again, add one. Have your stairs go across. Across, across, god damn it, I also need to grab one of those. Um, oh god damn it, there we go. So we get to this point, then your middle piece is going to be minus one, so again, it's just going to be right on the side. Be minus one, I don't know why, it looks a little bit weird in my texture pack with this striping, I did it in specs originally, but anyway... There we go, so it's minus one, so you get this kind of like a uh, step pattern there. So, after you've done that on the other side, uh, you guys, well, you, it depends, you, you can kind of choose what you want to do here. And I think I might just break through. Can I, can I, no I can't, okay, well, just jump through here. I uh, can't even jump through there, can I? No, okay. Well, basically, this is where all the vehicles are actually sitting, over there. There's a deck behind it, it's up to you if you want to put the deck in now. 
or you want to put it in later. Uh, this is just where I put mine in. You can see here where I did the overbit, that's just why. So you could, if you wanted to, put in a deck right here, going all the way to the front, and have vehicles on it like Humvees and tanks and things. And I've got loads of tutorials for tanks. I've got 20 tank tutorials. So you can honestly just have like a skip through, go, yeah, that's the one I want. And, you know, make four of those. Then you might say, I want different ones, try out another one. You know, so feel free to, you know, fill up all this. I'm not going to. This is going to be as much as I'm going to do of this part because it doesn't really affect anything, I don't think. There is at some point actually a wall. And I will put in that wall for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you want to, if you want to fill it out fully, and actually I, I will. I'm going to fill out this entire floor, um, and then then continue the tutorial. So yeah, fill all the floor all the way to the front. Then we'll put in the next layer. So then you also remember we need to do the other side. But yeah, let's do it. Okay, and now for layer number ten, come to the front. We're going to have a one, then another one, then we're going to have a two, one, two, and then a one. And now we're going to have five sets of two. So you got one, two, three, four, five in total. Now we're going to have a three, one, two, and three. Then a two. Then two sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, and three. Then a four. One, two, three, and four. Then a five. One, two, three, four, five. Then a seven. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then 123 blocks. So, I mean, the last one was 121, so it's going to be one over on each side. So it does just start to move out a little bit. So if we just drag this one back, the long way back, of course, because it's bloody huge. The ship. Yes, musical interlude, and just keep on dragging this back forever and then what you're going to do is you're going to be on top of this one add one more block then add four one two three four so yeah it's just starting to move across then if you grab your black wall what you're going to do is just put this on top so you notice that it just you know fits into that gap that's fine and keep on dragging this one back also forever and keep on dragging this back as well this goes this goes pretty far there we go it's going to be directly on top of the last one we're then going to plus eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab your stone stairs. I'm going to go one, two, three. Go across like that. So it's just this uh, side bit. I don't know. It, it kind of has a walkway on the side, from what I could see. We've got all these little gaps and things. So I've just put that in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a block gap of 20. So this is that back wall I was talking about. So I'm just going to use uh, use blue wool. It's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Grab your light grey wool. I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to move back into this point. I actually need... Uh, I'm going to use my cyan stained clay because it's... Actually, like a, a shutter door. Uh, we have seven of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then that'll give us twenty, twelve on the other side. Even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, this is this, which obviously you'll do on the other side. That gives you this back door type thing. So you've got all the storage here where you know you can load them onto onto the actual uh, landing craft, um, and I can go down the ramp and actually go onto it. Uh, what we're actually going to do as well, if we build up this middle piece. It's going to be built up again. So I think it's one back. I'm going to have to double check this. I can't remember it. Uh, and I haven't written it down for some reason. So <laughs> that's always good. But if we just drag this on top onto here like that. So it's directly on top. Okay, and I've just double checked. That is correct. So if you come right to the back here, we're actually going to have a seven block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I don't know if this part is correct, but I'm going to show you guys how to build it. Because there is an actual door right here, I couldn't figure out where it goes, so I just made a ramp going down to this part. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to do that, but you can. So we've got this seven block gap between them. We're then going to have seven wide of your cobblestone slabs. So you've got one, and then put three on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we're going to have seven blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then grab your light grey wall, put two on each side like that. So yeah, we're just going to be making a ramp going up to the top. I have no idea if it's correct. 
Couldn't find out, but um, I put it in because I thought it was kind of cool, I guess. But anyway, do the same on the other side, and uh, we'll get on to the next one. Okay, and now for layer number 11. So, come to the front. We're going to go forwards by one block. So this is our starting block. We're then going to have a one, and two sets of two. One, two, one, two. So we've got two sets of two like that. Then we're going to have a one. Then we're going to have three sets of two. One, two, and three. So we've got those three sets of two, then a three. One, two, three. Then we're going to have a two, then three sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So those are just directly on top. And then what we're going to do is going to have two sets of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to have 124. So last one was 123, I think. I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's just directly on top. Can't quite remember the last layer. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's just drag this on top. So keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. I need to get rid of that blue wall as well that I put on the inside for a marker. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so we'll get that when I get into there. Uh, next. So there we go. Let's have a look. This should be, yeah, 124 blocks, so there we go, deselect all of that, then we're just going to do the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, just adding on those, uh, black wool, take it on top, you know, you, you're getting used to this now, just have this on top, have this on top, have this on top, and keep on bringing it back, forever and ever, there we go, so if we have this, I'm just going to get rid of this blue, um, now, I think you can actually start minusing those by one. I can't quite remember. It truly doesn't matter. I think this is mostly my imagination rather than anything else, but put in your stairs like that. Doesn't matter about those. Um, the middle part, I'm going to build this up by using a black wall again. And again, it'll be minus one, so we get this kind of like a staggered step pattern. So build that. All the way to here. There we go. Just build that up to there. And then around this back piece. There we go. And we're going to bring this across. Then with your actual door piece, whatever you want to use for that. It's a different type of grey or just normal grey or stone or something. Then that'll go across there. And our ramp is going to also go up. So this just goes up with slabs. So, you know, slabs and then have your blocks. And then just put two on each side. And I'm pretty sure there's fence on it or, or something. I'll have a look at that next anyway. But that is it for layer number 11. So just do the same on the other side. We'll get on to the next one. Okay, so we're now on to layer number 12. So come to the front. We're going to, again, move forwards with this one block here. So that's where your starting point is. We're then going to have a two. One, two. Then we're going to have one. Then we're going to have seven sets of two. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, and then seven. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of two in total. And we're going to have three sets of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Then we're going to have a four. One, two, three, and four. Another four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have 127. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's just over by one. I can't remember though. So I'm going to just, you know, again, just pull it directly on top. I'll figure it out for you guys, don't worry. So you don't have to count out 127 blocks, because that'd be ridiculous. But I am pretty sure it's over by one, if I can remember. I can't quite remember <laughs> already. So many blocks. Too many blocks. There you go. So let's just add one and... Yes, 127, so it is over by one, just as I thought, so my memory isn't too bad. So anyway, we're going to go across like this again, so we're just going to, you know, extend that. See, that it does actually have quite a, a sharp back, but, you know, it does go quite diagonally. Um, and then on the inside part, grab your black wool. This is going to go across, like so, until we finally get around. Good God, even this is long. I wonder how many hundreds of blocks were placed in every single... Layer actually don't count. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to have stairs again. There we go, like that. Now, on this one, we're actually going to have this entire layer 
is where we have a floor. So you can actually underneath this part uh, have you know a door somewhere like that, and then have like storage going for miles. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, fill up this. So I'm just gonna take the easy way out, I guess. Uh, well, well, edit way out anyway. There you go. So that's where our floor's gonna be. So bang. Put that in. Sorry for you guys that have to place those 10, uh, 210 blocks by hand. Go to PC. Move to PC. Anyway, for the middle part, what we're going to do is we're going to have on top of this another black layer. Again, one block back from that pipe piece to make a step pattern. But this part, it is a solid kind of line. And again, the ramp goes up one more. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with those. And then the blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And grey pieces, grey pieces. Now if we actually grab iron bars we can put these on as well. And I do have quite a nice set of iron bars somewhere, but I'm actually going to use for this one, I'm, I'm going to try out never brick fence maybe, no I won't, I'll do iron bars. So if you do have my texture pack, uh, and you have Optifine and you have World Edit, you can actually do this. You can actually use a stick for example and do REPL 101 colon 5, and that will give you your different types of iron bars. So I quite like these ones for ships. That's what I usually use. So I'm just going to put these down and switch these blocks over like that. Uh, same with this side as well. We can actually put them here and this will go all the way over here. So if we put those on, we can drag this all the way back. That's kind of like an extra. So bring this all the way back. You kind of see how it's all starting to piece together now. Now this one obviously as a ship is going to be a little bit more longer as a tutorial because of this inside section. Uh, also with the iron bars, just bring them one short, I'm pretty sure that goes on top and it'll connect in. We'll find out in a second anyway, this is just a rough guide, as you know, like 99% of the ones we're placing are going to be used. But, you know, this is going to be a little bit longer as a tutorial due to this inside section, but I think it's worth going over so you guys have a base to uh, put in some cool ships and tanks and stuff. There we go, we get that. Now, all we've got to do now is, if we grab this and build up this wall again, and build up this again. And then build up the wall again. So, if you do the same on the other side again, we will get on to the next one. Ever moving up. Okay, and now for layer number 13. Come to the front and place one right on top here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a one, a two, and then a one. And then we're going to have five sets of two. So we've got one, two, three, four and five. So five sets of two in total, then we're gonna have a three. One, two, three, then a two, like that. And then we have two sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, then two sets of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a five. One, two, three, four, five. Now 129 blocks. Yeah. So <laughs> that's quite long. Anyway, we're going to just drag this back. And I have to say that at least this is easy. You know, <laughs> after all, that the front's are nice and complicated and this part is just really nice and easy. Drag it back. That, yep, yep, just just keep going. Yep, keep going. There we go, if we just bring that to here. There we go, it's 129. It's directly on top of the last one. So that should hopefully help you guys out to make it a little bit easier. So directly on top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have one block here. We're not even going to go across here. We're actually going to have fence going across here. Uh, not fence, iron bars, sorry. One, two, three, like that. So put three iron bars on this part. Well, what we're also going to do is we're not going to be building up this middle section. We're going to be building up these sides anymore. They are done. But we will quickly just put in this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put in your two light grey wool. And also put in your iron bars, so I'm going to use my stick of magic to do that. There we go, put in those. So now if we fly all the way to the back, we've got to cut out these cutouts. We've got to cut out these cutouts, yeah. yeah. So if we do it on this layer, it just makes it a little bit easier. The, the top or next layer just matches it. So we've already got the three on the back. Right on the side, we're just going to go one, two, three. So we've got this one block at the back like that. Then we're going to leave a one block gap here, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a two. 
then we're going to leave one, and then we're going to have three. One, two, three, like that. So we've got three, just one normal block, three, and one normal block, three. And then what we're going to do is we are going to leave a total of ten. So just count ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's our tenth. Go to the eleventh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to have two. Then we're going to leave one of these ones. We're then going to have another two, like that. So we've just got two, then one, then two. Now we're going to count out 30 of them. So I'm going to use the good old magical stick thing. Or weld edit thing. So we go. So you've got 30, a block of, basically a gap of 30 between these ones. And then we're going to have two, leave one, two. And it doesn't really matter if you get these in the right place. It, it honestly doesn't. That's just where I ended up putting them. I mean, look, you can see those ones. If you had it, for example, here, or slightly further over here, nobody would notice so don't worry about it too much if you don't get it in the right place because it's really not that important <laughs> but anyway that's enough for layer number 13 let's get on to the next one okay so now we're on to layer number 14 come to the front and you're going to just move forwards by one block like this we're then going to have a two then a one then two sets of two so you've got one there we go one two one two like that then we're going to have a one and then a two, then a three, one, two, and three, then a one, then a three, one, two, and three, then a two, one, two, then two sets of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, then you have two sets of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then a five, one, two, three, four, and five, then a nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now you're gonna have 121. So what we're actually going to do, and it's a little bit different this, and I'll, I'll kind of explain, <laughs> because we're going to have to cut out loads of this, but it's going to be easy. So if you just drag it straight back for the time being, including over these like gaps we've got, we know we're going to cut out, but it just makes more sense to do this. And just keep on going until we get right to the back. There we go. And then just have this going straight across. All we're going to do is cut out these three. Right on the back here is a little bit different. I'm going to cut out this one and those three. Then cut out those two, cut out those three. Cut out those two, cut out those two. I'm not going to put any iron bars or anything on it. I'm just going to cut them out. So cut out those like that. Then what I did forget last time is this piece here. Again, just build this one up. And I build up this piece here as well. Build up all of that. Then what we're going to do... Uh, oh yeah, I almost confused myself with the other side. This is actually just going to go straight across now. So we're actually going to go straight across this piece and connect that across the side there we go, like that, so you'll get this actual little dip I guess or, or something um, and again we can build this up I think, yep we can so if we just grab this, build this up one more time and I mean you could do it, I should have really counted how many times to do it up so we could have just done it in one go but oh well, <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much it's not super important, uh, it's a nice little easy one there we go. So there we go. Do the same on the other side and we will get on to the next one. Okay, and now we're on to layer number 15. So come to the front and come forwards. So you've got this one block here. This will be your starting point. We are then going to have a two. So one, two, and then we're going to have a one. Like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a load of, seven, of twos. We're going to have seven twos, in fact. I've just read it then. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. So there we go. Seven sets of two. Just in case you got stuck on that, or because I got balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Like that. We're then going to have a three. One, two, three. There are two, three. One, two, and three. So we've got three, two, three. Then we're going to have two sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Then we're going to have a five. One, two, three, four, five. Then an eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have 122, I think it is. Something like that, anyway. So I might as well count this out. I think it's 122. Not too sure. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it is. Main reason I'm not too sure is because my writing is so bad. <laughs> so anyway, bring this all the way back. And this time it will be on top. So it will cover up these. But you'll just have, you know, like this, these gaps like that. So it's just going to cover up those. So if we can continue to bring this one back. 
continue to bring it back forever and ever, or at least what seems like forever. And we'll just get to this end piece. I think that should be 123. So I'm going to quickly double check this. Okay, so it is 122. So it's going to be there. That's what it's going to be. So I've just checked that. So that's what it's going to be. Then the next one is going to go straight across. So you're going to go from here. So you see that it's going to run this point. This is just going to go straight across the back. So if we drag this all the way across to this point, the next one here, this line will be going back. And when you do it on the other side, it will be. Um, so that will get you this kind of straight line. This is actually the back of the ship properly. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is after I've got up to the heli deck, um, I'll show you guys how to do the closed version. Uh, just that just so we've got everything kind of moved in. I haven't actually tried doing a closed version before. I know when I was designing it, I kind of uh, figured it out as such. But I'll, I'll show you actually how to do that uh, after we've got up another two layers. I think it's number two layers. Yeah, I think it's another two or three layers to get to that point. Uh, so there we go, we've got that. If you actually grab stone slabs, I'm just going to need these. And uh, we find the middle. So the way we can do that is from you know, here, just fly up, shove a stone slab on like that. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to add... 11 on each side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and if side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that should make 23 slabs in total, have a look, 23, there we go, good, <laughs> I'm glad that worked out, so we've just got those slabs going across the back as well, now if we do the next bit, actually what I'm going to do is if we just bring this, the longest one, we'll just bring that one back, um, just on the top, I'll show you what we're going to do. There's actually a mini deck. I say it's mini because I had to crunch it into like two blocks. It's really tiny. It really is. It's just over over the kind of uh, this part here. So let's just bring this all the way back to around where we got the wall. Doesn't really matter too much. So let's just bring this one over this side and there you go. That'll do. So just you know bring that one straight back. Uh, what we're actually going to do now is we're going to build the deck. The next deck. Right here, it's going to be in from one here, or it can be on top, or it can go all the way to the front. It depends on how big you want your this deck here. Uh, I've done it as one, two, three, four, five. Then you got this here because it's quite a big open dock. I just I just go with a very big one, but um, it's up to you. Uh, again, I'm going to use World Edit, so I'm just going to do this, and we're going to bring this all the way over to the back section here. So I'll show you what we're going to have to do with the cutouts as well. So there we go. I really do apologise to you guys that are doing this on the console versions because you've got to place down by hand 3,190 blocks. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, you'll notice that this part here then gets covered up if we just do it with World Edit. What you need to do is you need to just cut out this. There we go. Like that. And I think on mine I actually uh, encircled it a little bit. And we can actually fly over there in a second. I think what I might have done, if we just cut out another one of these. And I'm, actually, we don't need to just cut out that back here. I don't know why I did that. So there we go. We've got this. And put in your slabs. There we go. So we can then get our slabs in there. I think what I might have done on mine, and yeah, we will have a flyover, is just cut back you know, a good portion of this. And then actually walled it up like this. I think I went around it and I even put a fence on it or, or something like that. Um, probably bigger than that, probably knock that back an extra two blocks, but if we just fly over there it's a lot easier, but there you go, so you have this kind of like cut out, this will then give you the inner kind of deck, as you can see, it looks a lot nicer now I think, uh, so this is where the water level will be here, all the way around, which is quite nice, uh, got the walkways and things, uh, it just looks generally pretty cool now that it's actually got that closed off section, but that is a mini deck, and you can actually get inside that, if I actually fly over here, and I don't think we need the stairs anymore, so I'm just going to switch out for this. This is what we just made. <laughs> so we're actually standing on here. Um, if I go to the ramp, I uh, don't know what's the best way to go for it, but if we go over here, go into this back section here, uh, what I did with the ramp was... Okay, I just cut it out solidly here and just made a wall. Alright. Um, because there's two levels... So I didn't actually have mine accessing the next level. This one's actually just got it around it. 
I guess it's just empty. So, you know, you can do that if you want to. It's it's completely up to you. Or you can just wall it off, or you can just leave it and figure out what happens when you get to this main deck. That might be the best bet, is just to figure out that. And then, see, I've just put a grey layer around it, um, from even from the start point here. So if you needed to figure it out, I'll just pull this wall down. So it goes right on the outside of the, the one that we've actually got first. Um, you can also put in lights. All I've done here is just put in every so often... See, it's just alternating between free glowstone and free iron bars, and I'll find your start point. So this is in the in the middle of this lane, I think, or free of the lane. So if we just do the middle one here, okay, it's just got one block. No, it hasn't. It's yeah, it's directly on that grey. So we just go one, two, three with your iron bars, then free glowstone. I just dragged that all the way back, then had on each side one, two, three, good god, five, five block gap between them. So I had just three lanes of them in total. That's just what I did. Uh, it was quite an old ship, so I'm not too sure about it. Now, there is also side parts on this uh, that we're actually building up. I'm just going to be building the basic ship. We'll then get onto this back section and do all of these bits that are slightly different. For example, this section here is definitely different from that one. We're going to be doing all of that in basically the, the kind of back deck section here. It'll just make it a lot easier for us to get all the basics out of the way and then move up. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Okay, and now for layer number 16, come to the front, place a block directly on top of the last one, and then we're going to have a one, two sets of two, one, two, one, two, <laughs> that's, that's, I did it every other way except for the actual one I wanted, so you got two, then we're going to have a two, so you got two sets of two, and then we're going to have one, and then five sets of two, so you got one, two, three, four, and five, so you got five sets of two, we're now going to have a three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to have a two. One, two, then a three. One, two, three. Then we're going to have three sets of four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm getting terrible at placing books. I've been non-stop going until here. You should have a break. But anyway, we've got four, four, then another four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to have a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So, three sets of four, then you got your seven. Now we're going to have 120... 127, yeah. 127, right, okay. Just uh, pull this one back. Ah, this is easy, nice nice little part. If only all the ships were like this, it would be great. Just uh, use a good old world edit to uh, do the counter for you. So, continue this one on. I'm pretty sure it just goes almost right at the back. Maybe, can't quite remember. But, uh... I'm sure it'll be fine, just just drag this one back. There we go. So we got it on top of here. Uh what does this give us? 125. 6, 7. Okay. So we go 127. We're just gonna be over. And now what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to have a straight back on this one. So we're actually gonna drag this across. It'll go over those slabs that we placed. I know, it's like we pre-planned it. It's amazing. Uh the hell? <laughs> there we go. So that'll give us the back. There we go. We've got this nice back, and uh, yeah. Starting to look pretty cool. Uh, do the same on the other side for this part. Just go jump and stuff, and jump it around. And uh, I'm going to take a break because I'm going insane. Uh, if you guys haven't already, you know, just complete this layer and honestly take a break. If I'm going mad, you're probably also going mad. Too many counting. So anyway, let's go to the next one. Okay, and now for lane number 17, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the front, we're going to move forwards by one block, like that, then we're going to have a two, a one, and then we're going to have two sets of two, so we've got one, two, one, two, now we're going to have a one, and three sets of two, so you've got one, two, and three, three sets of two, then a three, one, two, and three, now you're going to have a two, one, two, and then we're going to have Three sets of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Then two sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Then a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to have a 128 block long one. Oh, good God. Anyway, let's just see where it ends up. That's the easiest way to do it, isn't it? Drag this all the way back. Forever and ever. I never. 
Uh, we're almost there. We've got another layer after this, which will bring us onto the main deck, and that should make it a little bit uh, kind of less time-consuming on these. I mean, the, the the actual superstructure on this ship is pretty nuts, anyway. Anyway, if you get that to there, they got 128. It's directly on top. Don't even know why I bother writing it down, but I always do just in case. That's a good check. So then we're going to just bring this straight across the back like this. Bam, we're done. <laughs> so do that on the other side as well. Um, we're going to get onto this main deck now. I'm sure um, I'll explain later, but this is freaking crazily complicated. This entire ship is really, especially when we get to this part. But at least we're going to be done with the main layer by layer stuff. Uh, we'll probably do layer by layer on this, or we might just do it in a big chunk and cut it up. I'm not sure yet. I'll have a really good look at it. But anyway, do the same on the other side. We'll get on to the next one. Okay, so we're now on to layer number 18. Come to the front, place a block directly on top of the last one, and add one to each side. So that's where it starts to really flatten out. You'll find this with the wider ships that they always do this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a two. So we're going to go one, two, like this. Then a one. Now we're going to have a total of seven sets of two. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we've got seven sets of two. Then we're going to have a three, one, two, and three. Then number three, one, two, three, and number three, one, two, three, two sets of four, one, two, three, four, and number four, one, two, three, four. Then we have a six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then 130 blocks. So let's just see where this lands. Much easier, isn't it? And I'm pretty sure it's just directly on top of the last one. So yeah, just to completely take this back. Forever and ever. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's okay, we don't have to do this again. <laughs> I think it's the last one of this really long run. Oh god, there we go. So that'll get us to 131. Well, I'm pretty sure that actually it is supposed to be on top. I'm. If we've gone wrong, it doesn't matter. Or if I've gone wrong, <laughs> or maybe I've counted wrong. I don't know. I, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. It won't affect anything. If it does... I'll edit it later, but we're just going to go straight across the back. Because it's definitely not in by one. Bring this across to there. There we go. Grab your cobblestone now. You're going to love this bit. This entire thing is a deck. All the way from the back, all the way to the front. So, what you guys need to do is literally just fill it up. So I advise doing it on the other side. Then, you guys are on the console versions, I really do feel for you. It's going to take you ages to actually do... Uh, you also notice there's like little cuttings on this, but we're going to sort that all out um, probably after we get onto this part or during that part. So, build on the other side, get your deck colour out, start building all the way because we're going to need all of it to sit everything else on top of. Okay, so before we get on to the next one, we're actually just going to fix the front. Now, we were one block off and I said I didn't go to care. Well, OCD has got the best of me. So, I've taken off the layer just at the front. Uh, all the back parts are fine, and you can see that I've, I've filled in the entire deck as well. Um, but where we got this just long line, just keep that one, but just cut off this front as you can see here. Uh, I've even done it on the other side and it's all weird. But we're just going to place one block on the front here, add one to each side. And last time what we did, which was incorrect, was this. We did a two this way. Uh, we just need to add a block there to have the two. That, that was pretty much it, unfortunately. Uh, just off by one right at the front, has just screwed up by one block. Yeah. <laughs> anyway... Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a 2, and then we're going to have a 1. So we've got a 1 right there like that. Then 7 sets of 2, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, like that. Then we're going to have 3 sets of 3, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to have 2 sets of 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we're going to have a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there we go. So you should, should have this shape here. Got 2, 3, 1, 2. So we get to there. So sorry about that, guys. But mistakes do sometimes get made, unfortunately, with doing these long tutorials. Um, but yeah, that's not, it's a nice, easy one to fix. So you don't need to just do the same on the other side. Uh, we're just going to finish up the raised bit of this front section so that we've at least got the basically the hole done. Um, and then we're going to work on the back. Work on the front, then work on the superstructure. So yeah, let's get on to it. Okay, and now we're on to layer number 19, which we're just going to do this raised kind of front part. 
So it's not going to be too bad. I'm not going to be going all the way back, for example. Uh, we're just going to be, you know, doing this front bit. <laughs> anyway. So if you come to the front, we're going to go forwards. So this is going to be our starting block. I'm going to just add one to each side, like this. So we've just got those three blocks there. There you go. You can see it pretty clearly. Uh, now what we're going to do, I'm just going to add one on the back of each of them. That's what we should have done last layer. Um, but now we're going to have a one. Then we are going to have seven twos. And of course it's raining. Excellent. Let's just clear that out. There we go. Seven sets of two now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven sets of two in total. They're going to have a three, one, two, three, a two, one, two. Then three sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And a five, one. Two, three, four, five, then a seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then a three. One, two, three. Brilliant. So, if you just do that on the other side, we'll get on to the next one. Okay, so now for layer number 20, what you're going to do is it's just going to be straight on top, three lots of blocks. Three lots of blocks? Three blocks. Just just directly on top. Just do it that way. Don't listen to me. <laughs> and then you can have a one, and then a one. And uh, now it looks like we can have another seven sets of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to have a three, one, two, three, a two, one, two, then another three. One, two, three. So if you do that on the other side, we're then done with the main whole kind of structure, I guess. So all of this will just give us a nice, like, blank area to do. Uh, that's the most kind of I guess the easiest part of it. The rest of it is just like the superstructure here, which is going to be pretty easy on this one, I think. It's mainly just like straight walls. It's a very simple kind of structure. It's then got lots and lots added onto it, though. That's going to be the most difficult part. But the order that we're going to do things is we're going to finish up the back. So there's quite a lot of detail here. The actual back detailing here took me absolutely ages to try and replicate from these weird, stupid shots that I had of the ship at like this angle. <laughs> like, seriously. So I was trying to figure out how those were all working together. But that's going to be quite complicated. Uh, but we are going to get that done as well as the crane. I'm going to get the side bits done. Helicopter wise, I've already got tutorials for the Chinook and also the Augusta Westerland. Augusta something. Wildcat. I don't know. It's one of those. I've got a tutorial on that one. But we're also going to do the side kind of bits here, the actual back details. Do that all in one section. Get this all kind of cornered off and finished. We'll then move on to the front section because that's where we've got this gun here, I think it's called the Goalkeeper, something like that. It's basically uh, the version of the Phalanx, um, yeah, it's, it's like the British version that we ended up not going with, but we've still got it on this ship, and yeah, so we'll get all this done, so it's uh, the actual chains and the anchors, get those done. Then what we have is we just have this middle section, this is going to take quite a while to get through, and it's probably going to be very complicated, but we'll probably get the basic part of it done, then start setting up extra sections for it. But yeah, that's what we're going to do, that's the plan. So, let's get this done. Okay, quickly we're just going to build the superstructure. It's so stupidly easy. And then we can use it as a marker as a back piece, so it makes sense. Anyway, I'm just going to grab a random piece of curved wall. Where we just put in this piece, we're actually going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then the seventh one, right here, we're actually going to find the middle of the ship. I reckon it's... no, I'm completely off. But <laughs> you can kind of see it from here. Let's find the middle of the ship, put a light grey piece of wool. So then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it would have had this normal piece there. So that's what it should look like. Uh, if you do need to, just drag this one all the way to the side, and it should come to here. I'm actually going to double check to make sure this is in the centre, so you can just pull the line down until and I'm off by one, see? So it's worth it. Because we're quite far away, definitely trail it. And put that down there. We're now going to go 12 on each side. So just add 12 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's get rid of this yellow line. Do the same on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And right on the back. Or well, not on the back, on the side we're now going to go 1. And now this one is going to be 64 blocks. So I'm going to be using World Edit again to count out them for me, just to save myself some time, because you guys can always pause at this point. Uh, but it does go f quite a fair bit back. It's, it's a very big ship. And that's 64. There we go. So you should have 64 going back. 
these like this. Uh, and then it goes straight across the back, so just drag this directly across the back. And it should be two blocks short of the side. Yeah, so two blocks short, and bring this all the way to the front. And connect it up. And good god, it's quite a long one, isn't it? There we go. So keep on bringing this one around till we get to here, and then we're going to have the one. So that will give you the base that we're going to be working off. Yep, really simple, really square. <laughs> it really is square. It's only a tiny little bit different at the front. We're now going to build this up to nine blocks tall. So that one already counts as one. Then you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. You can see they've got nine blocks tall. Build all of these walls up to nine. That's what we're going to need. So after you guys have done that, we're going to get onto the back. Okay, so if you come around to the back of the ship, and if you face the front, and we're going to be on the right hand side, we've got to just cut out this side piece before we get onto the ridiculously complicated deck patterns. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. So we're just going to cut into this piece, we're going to go two, so we're going to cut two off, and it's going to go one, two, three blocks in total. So then this line will go one, two, three, and then this one will have a two. I'm just going to move that one in there because it looks nicer. Cut down another one to there, and then fill in the back wall. And this is actually where we're going to be standing on, so we can actually just fill this in here like that. Now, right on this end piece here, we're going to have just one. Then we're going to have three. One, two, three, like this. So we're just going over a little bit. Uh, so we're just building a little wraparound. And then what we're going to do is counting this block right here. And I'm going to grab my World Edit stick. Uh, but counting that block, we're going to go 46 blocks in total. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm just going to drag this most of the way back. So you guys will be counting it, and if you've got World Edit, you'll be using this. But if not, you know, you're going to be counting it by hand. There we go, 46. Now, in relation to the side, let's just do this. So if you just bring that one up like that, um, where we need to count it, you can then see that there is... And gap-wise, we've got 11 block gap from that part. I don't know what's easier for you guys, uh, but there you go. That's that's one way you can look at it. Uh, so then the next bit, so we've got 40, what's it, 46. <laughs> then it's just going to go by one. And then we are actually going to have three of them. One, two, three. And then this one runs across like this. Now if you grab your stone stairs, it's going to have one stone stair here, stone stair here. And that means a cobblestone can go in there, and we can also put in... A block there, so we've got this little step uh, just on the bottom piece here. We're just going to fill this up with normal uh, yeah, light grey. So just fill that all up and bring this all the way back and all the way over here. Fill up all of this part like that. Uh, the actual back here, we're going to go one, we have three of these. We're going to leave a free block gap and have two, and the rest is going to have iron bars in between it. So you can decide what type of iron bars you want. I'm going to go with the same that I did earlier, which is one that's down here, there we go. So I'm going to just grab that and switch those over. And then this will go all the way, of course, to this bit, because otherwise that would be incredibly unsafe. And, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be so good, would it? <laughs> but I think you can just bring this... Uh, let's have a look. No, just bring it over to there. Okay, just bring it to this point. I'm guessing there isn't a rail on there, or I couldn't see one when I was building the ship. Probably should be, but, uh, oh well. Alright, so there we go. So you're just going to bring this rail across... And all the way back. And bring this all the way back. Like that. And that gives us the first kind of side piece. So let's move on to the other side. Okay, so we're now on to the other side. So you're going to be on the left side, facing the front again. And this one's a little bit different. It actually allows a way in. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but on this back piece, we're going to count four. One, two, three, four. Then instead of being down here, this is where we started last time. That's the same level as that one. It's going to be one underneath, so we're going to have to bring this one to here. Now, this will actually go up by two, and this is going to go across by four. So you got one, two, three, four, oh, six, sorry. <laughs> yeah, not four, six. There we go. So you should have this. So you got three blocks showing here, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. This one, just add an extra two blocks onto. So it's three going across, so you can see that. And then we're going to move up, and this will be 50. So, yeah, pretty big. But again, I'm just going to use the good old tool. It's actually This one's actually in a better place to count for you guys. Um, as it pretty much works out pretty nicely. 
There we go, so that's 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there we go, bring it to there. I'll just deselect that. And then we're just going to go up by 1. And then again, have the three blocks, 1, 2, 3, and then it bends around. And that's what you should have right here. So this is where your actual uh, cobblestone should be in. And then you get your stairs going down. So it's a little bit easier, I, th I think it is anyway, um, than the other one. And I've just double checked. Actually needs to be an extra block. <laughs> so there we go. Add an extra block. Add one into here. But it's actually double. That's why I got messed up. I thought it was a single. Uh, so yeah, this end piece should be going across here. It should go four. Then one. Then this will be a 50. Um, but again, underneath here, we're just going to add in these blocks. And there we go. Exactly the same as we did before. It's just this wraparound bit. Uh, now this time it will of course step down, so right here, just take that one out and put in a cobblestone stair or stair and then wrap this around to this bit right here. Now what we're going to do is going to go one, two, like this, have a stone slab and then have a block going in, then leave a gap and then do the same. It's a little bit different, like that, and what that allows us to do is put a door in here. So we need to put a block underneath, and actually we need to put blocks underneath all of these if I miss them. There we go. Let's put in blocks here and put in blocks here. Uh, just to kind of finish off that piece. I, I like to cover up these, you don't have to, uh, but I like to, and it's something I haven't done this one, but it is something I like to do now, anyway. But block up this, like that. That's a little bit smoother, and we'll do the same on the other side as well, because we might as well. Um, so here, just block these up, there we go. Uh, and again, grab your iron bars. Going to do exactly the same thing, just going to wrap these around, like this, and... Obviously I'm doing it in cobblestone so that I can use the stick to replace. Um, I can't remember if there's any extra blocks in this, but I can't remember at the time. So I'll have a look in a second. But yeah, just switch these out. So there we go, switching those out. This goes all the way around. I, I kind of like this ship because it's got different bits on each side as well. It has a nice amount of variation to it. The top, unfortunately, is a nightmare because most of it is different. <laughs> Very unique. But um, there we go. That brings us to that part, so that's our extra side, so a couple extra little bits of detail at the back, and then we can get on to the mega markings. Okay, and if you come around to the back, grab a block of glass. What we're going to do is right on this side piece, so on the left hand side, I'm just going to switch out this one, going to leave a one block gap, then just have another one, so then we're going to leave a two block gap, then have a one, leave a three block gap, then have a two, these, and I'll go over this again in a second if um, I'm going too fast. We have a one block gap, and then we're going to have a triple. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. And then we're going to have a one block gap, and then a double glass. Yep. So we've got one, then a block, then a window, two blocks, window, three blocks, two window blocks, one block, three window blocks, one block, two window blocks. Pretty cool. Grab your own bars. And we're going to have seven of these here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm just going to change mine over as well. There we go. And as well, we're actually going to have iron bars going across the back piece. So this piece here, right on the top, we're actually going to have iron bars on. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the type of uh, kind of netting you get on these big ships that um, basically it, it folds down. Usually folds down onto the side. So if you wanted it, it kind of looks like a trap door, but it's not. It's like a netting type of trap door which usually goes like this, and then when it's up, it's actually up on like this level. Uh, it's really hard to explain. If you have a look at real ships, you know what I mean. Um, but I had mine up on this one, so that's what I'm teaching on that. So, so there we go. We've got that piece, but that finished up the back, so that means we've got this nice little walk around. Um, you could obviously, as well, put in... Well, maybe not there. Definitely not there, but um, somewhere around here, you could put in a nice stairway. That might be quite cool. So you can have a stairway going from here. Uh, ooh, there we go. From here. And end up having it going like this. So you can actually walk up from the main deck down here uh, to the kind of like viewing place. I'm guessing this is to just to control um, the door and things. Um, and then actually walk around. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to leave mine in there anyway. Because that does look pretty good while you look over all of the uh, landing craft. Yeah. So, let's move on to the pain in the ass, which is going to be the deck markings. Okay, and now to start on the horrible, horrible deck markings. Probably the most complicated I've ever done. Alright, let's get started anyway. <laughs> so, 
I'm actually going to be using my replacer tool again, but you'll be needing white wool for this bit. I'm going to get all the basics done. I don't know why I just selected that. Uh, there we go. I'm going to get all the basics done, and then we're just going to be doing the more complicated stuff. So we're just going to be doing the white. If you come to the right-hand side of the ship, we're just going to count in, and I'm going to use these slabs to show you of the grey kind of colour that you got. I've got cobblestone here. We're going to count in seven. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then this is where your white line is going to be, and this is going to go all the way just straight down, straight down the back. So just drag this here, and we'll eventually get there, right to the end. There we go, like that, that's the first one. Uh, these are really good as guide marks, so I'm then going to take away these slabs, and it's the same on the other side as well. So these are probably the only two real even bits, I guess. But um, Yeah, from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then just fill in this, and yes, I could do it with world edit and save time, but I know that people that are cutting this out, switching over to white, it might be annoying if I do it in half a second. <coughs> Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, yep, there we go. Fill that one up. That's our second line. So again, cut out this. There we go. So we've got these two going down. Um, what we're now going to do is, from here... We're going to count 16. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now, with this one, it's just going to be a straight line going across. And this will go all the way across to the other side. So it's just going to be straight. You know, nothing different about it. So I just drag this one through, drag this one through until it just goes here. Don't switch out the light grey, though. So we've got a straight line there. So that's a 16 section. And then get rid of these slabs. This is why I use the slabs to show it. It's a little bit easier, I think. Um, so yeah. Next one, we're going to actually miss seven. So only a small one. We're going to go... Actually, if we do it from the side here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, this one's a dotted line. So how do we do that? We're going to leave this one. Then we're going to go two. Leave one. Go two. Leave one. Count this one as the two. So there we go. We've got a two there. And we're just going to continue this on. So we're going to go one, two, leave 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 one, and then you've got two, leave one, two, and leave one, two, which it doesn't work out perfectly. I wasn't too bothered about it. So there we go. Seven block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now the next one that we're going to have is a 15 block gap. So you've got one, two, and you can see where I'm counting from. That I'm counting that like a solid line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then this one just goes straight across. So get this one to go across. There we go. And this one is just obviously a normal straight line like that. But that has given us the basic lines. Um, now that we've actually got that in place, we can then start working on the more complicated, like there's a line that goes through here and then wraps back around. Uh, and then we've got two actual spot one and spot twos type places. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, that's giving us a nice start anyway. Okay, and now for the next bit of this. It's not too bad. <laughs> I just remember taking about an hour to do this when I created it. I'm going to leave three block gaps here. Three block gaps? Right, three block gap. One, two, three. Like that. Grab your red wall this time. So we're going to actually have red. So if we put in red here, it's so got three block gaps there, this is on, again, the right side. Uh, I'm actually just going to use the stick. We're going to just bring this all the way to the top, to the kind of top straight line. So when it kind of intersects these uh, dotted lines or any other line, this red one takes kind of priority, I guess. So there we go. We're going to bring this over to here and just bring it onto that last line. Hopefully you guys can see what that is. I think it should be about 40 blocks. It's somewhere around that region. Add two to it and move into the left side of the ship. We're going to just have two this way, one, two, another two, one, two. Then we're going to have three sets of one, so you're going to go one, one, one. So there we go, just to make sure that you guys are on, kind of, uh, you know, where you are. There we go. And then we're going to have two going across the ship. And still going, going towards the left, so we've got two. And another set of two going like this, so it's moving up. It's just to make a circle. Then this red line is going to go all the way through, and this time it doesn't actually override this one goes underneath. I think it's because of something I saw on the actual ship, but that's what you should have, like this big circular piece. Now, this has actually got a highlighting kind of colour of white, 
So again, facing the front of the ship, we're going to be on the inside, but on the left hand side. And this is just going to make a white line going all the way through. And it's just going to be one uh, shorter than it, I guess. So there we go, bring this all the way through. Right behind this, and it just follows this line that we just created. And it's going around, and then across here as well. Like that. So, pretty simple. But that will give us uh, the actual line. We've now got a dotted line to put in as well. Another one. So if you go to where we've got this line, uh, if we obviously split this into three, it'd be this one right here. Hopefully you guys know exactly where I am. Then I'm going to leave a three block gap. One, two, three. Three. <laughs> I'm just taking out most of the ship. Three blocks. There we go. Okay. Then we're just going to have the two, then a one. Then again, we'd have a two here, and then a one. Then we're going to have a two here. So it it's a bit more difficult. Um, I probably should have done this before the circular part, but the second part's more important. So there we go. You've got two here. Actually, let's, let's do it in something else. Two here, then a one. Then two here, then a one. Then two here. But because there's a line there, hopefully it makes sense. It should do, but if not, just add two here. Then we have a one, then two, then a one, then two, then a one. And then we're just going to basically have a two here, then a one, two here, one, two here. And then when we get to the dotted line, we just leave it. That, that's, that's as far as it goes. So again, I'm just going to make sure I tidy up after myself. Uh, right there. Now if we go to where the dotted line is, now find the middle of it. You can see there's a little middle piece here. Well, I say the middle of it, but it's not really. But this piece here, we're just going to leave a block. And what we're going to do is going to have five of white. So this is the middle. So we're just going to add two to each side. There we go. So it should go across to here. Then we're going to have a one. Then five. One, two, three, four, five. Now one. Then one, two, three, four, five. A one. One, two, three, four, five. Then a one. Okay. So you should. <laughs> I'm really suffering today. I've done too much recording. Um. Then you have this circle like this. Now it's actually a dotted circle. So if we just switch out this one and this one, and then hold each of these just on the sides for cobblestone that will give you a dotted circle it's just much easier to show as a circle now if we just from this bottom piece leave one we're just going to go one two three four five and that is going to be a number one or at least as close as we can get with making it simple you could also have do something like this if you wanted to um i've found that that looked a little bit too formula one <laughs> so yeah oh i just made another shape then <clears throat> anyway <laughs> if you go down to the next section this last bit here we're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to leave a one block gap. And again, it's going to be in line with this one. It's perfectly in line. So line that one up. Leave a one block gap. Have five. So two to each side. Then give it one. One, two, three, four, five. And one. One, two, three, four, five. And then one. One, two, three, four, five. And then a one. And then you should have a little circle like that. Again, it should be in directly in line. Uh, again, make it dotted. Take out these ones. Uh, this, there we go, and this time we're going to make a two. So the easiest way we can make a two. Uh, we're actually going to go two. Actually, I'm going to have to find where I am. There we go. If we go to this point. So from this dotted bit to there. Let's so get one, two, three. Uh, well, we're just going to draw a two. It's I, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys know how to make a two. But you'll be happy to hear that is it for the deck patterns. Yeah, it's. Um, I found it really difficult. The first time I did this it was a real nightmare. Uh, what we are going to do now is you can see this tiny little crane. I have no idea what the use is for but we have got a crane and we're going to put it in. So we're going to do that now. Okay and now for the back crane that we have here. Really simple. Uh, come to the back obviously if we're facing the right if we're facing the right if we're facing the front of the ship then it's going to be on the right side and it's only on the right side. We're just going to have a six spot gap. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm using the slabs to show you guys. Uh, look, then we're going to have three across like this. And then number three. And a one. This is what your base is going to look like. So that's facing them towards the back. Uh, on this point, we're actually just going to go up by six. So add an extra six blocks. So it'll be seven in total. But from here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is seven in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see. But it's just going to be six on the back. That's kind of why I count it as six. And if you come forwards as well, we're going to do exactly the same. There's bits that we'll cut out and we'll move, but, you know, do that a bit. 
And you can see it just kind of comes around the back like this. For the time being anyway. Right here. Like that. And what we're going to do is this point here we're just going to cut off. And do three. Put on stone slabs instead. Put a roof on. Like this. Grab your glass. And we're just going to wrap around these. So you're going to have this one going around to here. And that'll give you a little kind of glass piece. Uh, on the back, actually we'll get rid of these first. It's going to go up with cobblestone. Uh, not there, sorry. Right here. So it's this point and down there. So hopefully that makes sense. So it's just on that inner part. Uh, and just until you can kind of have this one block. You don't want to have it stuff up here because you can't actually walk there. And you don't want to have it lower because you can't see out. So make it to that point. Grab a ladder as well. Shove that down there. So then when you can go up the ladder and you can actually get in. So yeah, it's kind of functional. Pretty cool. Um, now for the arms. So grab your light red grey wool. So leave one block down to here. And we're going to go five from here. So you're going to go put down a block. Then go two, three, four, five. So five in total. Then we're going to move inwards and have five. So here. Two, three, four, five. And then again. Two, three, four, five. So it should be five, five, five like that. That's what I'm trying to get at. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five here. It's going to add an extra block in here and add a couple in here. So you just join in these two parts here like that. And then grab a button, put one on there. Grab a button, put one on there. Right on the end, just put like two pieces of uh, never break. But that gives you a very, very simple, tiny little crane. Um, now for the back, I've got Chinook here. I've got a tutorial on that. You can just search the channel. I don't want to fill up the description with too many because I'm going to fill it up with that one, also the one that's internal. Um, but yeah, Chinook helicopter. It's also got a Westland Lynx, but I've got a helicopter tutorial playlist. Just find that, skip through, see which ones you want. You know, you might not want the Chinook, for example, you might not want the Lynx, you might want something else. Have a look at what I got and uh, put it on. But anyway, let's keep moving. Okay, and now if you come to the front of the ship, we're going to just finish off this. It's a pretty big service area. Uh, so there's a little bit of minor details like the chain system, uh, which I'm pretty sure is inaccurate, but screw it. Uh, there's also like a weird front door. Just little bits of detail. So if we come right to the front, on these grey pieces, we're just going to go back a total of 26. So again, I'm going to use stone slabs to show you guys this. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 16. I'm going to double check that already. Hmm. Yeah, 16. That's good. <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And actually we need 26. So knock one off. So that should be, from these grey pieces, total of 26. And again, I'm just going to double check. So I'll throw you guys off. There we go. Now what you need to do, right in the middle, go up by three blocks. And we're going to add four to each side. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Counting this one, it's going to go nine in total. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And build that one up as well. And going around the back, it's going to be exactly the same. So it's basically a nine by nine by three box. Uh, might have been easier to say, but yeah, so fill this up. All the way up to here, right? Then with your cobblestone, fill this up as well. So you want to fill up all of this, and here, these bits, like that. Okay, and then for the next bit, what you can do is you can either do a alternating yellow and black kind of thing here, or if you have my texture pack or Jag's texture pack, you got the uh, stripe block. So I'm going to use the kind of hazard stripe block. Go to the front, just have three of these, go one, two, three, then go one, three, one, three, one, three, one, like that. Uh, we're then going to go right into the middle, make a cross pattern, like that, and then build up, and it's just going to be a three by three box on top of this, three by three, three box on top of that. There go. This one I'm going to cut out and just put in a cobblestone wall, go one, two, three in total, just extends, that's the gun. And then there's going to be a white piece of wall on top of this bit. And right on the side, I'm just going to go diagonal like this and go one, two, three. Then have two never brick slabs on top of this and then one on each side. 
yeah so that's this it's this different type of gun i think it's a british one uh instead of the phalanx um i think it's called the goalkeeper or something so it's stupid anyway uh, but what you'll need next is to put iron bars around the side so again i'm going to use the metadata version of it so just bring this all around here like that and uh, let's just put these in There we go, like that, and if you grab your ladder, I'll just put a ladder up this part here, and cut out this one, so you can actually get up there, I thought that was kind of neat. Um, so yeah, let's get on to the next part, I'm just going to remove this as well. Okay, and now for the next detailing part for this section, so come behind the gun we just put in, grab your light grey wool, and come in one block on the right hand side. Now this ship is really different on each side, so you have to pay attention, but I'm going to try and always face forwards, if that makes sense, and then figure it out from there. But you're going to have three blocks here, just one block in, and leave a block, and then have three blocks. It's just something. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Uh, then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the front of this gun, and we're just going to look at the middle, and you can do it from the barrel there. Leave a two block gap, and then go to here, I guess it's here. Yeah, if we, if we use this sign in place, so we've got a two block gap here. Then we're just going to add one to each side like this, and then we're going to have a 2x2 two two box. I know it's not great, but uh, there we go. So you've got two black gap between those, but there's three blocks between these two sections. I think that makes sense. Now way you can look at it, right from the side of this, you're just going to leave a one block type bit here, and you're just going to have this two block gap there. I don't know, I don't know what's easier for you guys. <laughs> it's kind of a bit difficult to always explain these weird bits. Uh, but now what we're going to do is from here we're going to have a six block gap. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll just use those blocks again just as a marker. Then you're going to put down a cobblestone wall and you're going to put a slab on top of it. There we go. There we go. So you've just got six blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't really matter where these are. These are just the details that I've got in here. I'm just putting them there just in case they're there for some sort of special, special reason. I don't really know. But uh, now what we're going to do is on the side of these, you're going to go four. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. Then you have a cobblestone wall going towards the front. Leave a block, cobblestone wall. So again, one, two, three, four. Cobblestone wall, leave a block, cobblestone wall. And take those out. They should get this kind of like a weird thing like this. Uh, and I did it wrong on this side. I'll do one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I need to move mine up one because for some reason I did it weirdly on the other side. Um, but yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the actual chain system. There's still some little... Actually, we'll do these little details first. We'll get that done. Okay, and now we're going to go right to the front part. So right the way over here. And we're going to have a free block gap. One, two, three. So this is of the grey bits. So the actual actual grey, not light grey. <laughs> so there we go. One, two, three of those. Then we're going to have a cobblestone wall with a slab on top. Then we're going to have another free block gap. One, two, three. And then on each of these sides, we're going to have a cobblestone wall, then leave a block, then have one like that. It's kind of, there you go, you get this kind of like square type thing. So you've got the three blocks here, one, two, three, like that. Now, there is little bits that are cut out on this one. It's kind of a little bit different. Right at the front, this block here is actually cut out. Now, behind this one, and going to the sides, we're actually going to cut this one out. So, it's going to be one block back. Um, I don't know why they're in there, but they are... No idea. But now we're done with all those details, we'll get on to the chain system. Okay, now for the actual anchor part and anchor system. So if you come to the front, where we've got that actual hole had before, what we're going to do is we're just going to go down by one, leave these two, and then this one here we're going to cut out. I don't know how you would explain it. Leave a upside down L. Yeah. Um, now the actual block I'm using for this is a slightly different version of the cobblestone wall. Uh, over on this one I actually used iron bars, it doesn't look very good. But if you do need this one or want this one, make sure that you've got my texture pack. Um, what else are you going to need? <laughs> World edit, and you're also going to need Optifine. But it's 139 colon 6 as a metadata of the actual cobblestone wall. So if you do that, bang, there you go. That'll give you that one. Um, so anyway, from this hole, what we're going to do is we're just going to put one in there and then come forwards. And if you do this on the inside, you can actually connect up with a chain system we're going to be putting in. I don't know how it connects in in all the real one, but uh, yeah, just go down by three in total. So you got one, two, three. Actually, this one I'm going to do four, four, and then add one to each side. So there we go. That will give you an actual anchor. So I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. So I'll do it a little bit faster. So leave the upside down L. Cut out this one. So it's here. One, two, three, and then four. Add one to each side. Got your little anchor system done. 
So I'm going to try and remember where this is, as I kind of might have forgotten. But uh, there's an anchor system here anyway. It's going to be two blocks back, you're going to leave a one block gap, and that's going to be here. So it's not diagonal, how would you how would you describe this? I don't know. Um, yeah, two blocks from this one, then go over by a couple, and then go down. I It's diagonal off that one, there we go. Diagonal off if off this block that we put in here, or two blocks from this one. There we go, two blocks from that piece there, that's a lot easier. Then we're just going to put in four of these. We're going to put in a cobblestone wall in the middle, put a stone slab on top, and then just going to wrap around a couple of anvils. And right at the front here, this one is going to be 16 in total, so you've got one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I'm going to cut out two of these. I'm going to go underneath. I'm just going to make some steps going down. Oh, there we go. Not blocking out the sun. So, there we go. If I just come up here. Now, you can bring this all the way down into the ship. But there we go. That's where your actual thing's going to go. That's where it goes there. So, if we do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to leave a one block gap from this, and I'm just going to drag this across. So we go, leave a one block gap. And you've got here, which is one, two, three, and three and four. Put one in the middle, cobblestone wall, put one on top. And wrap these around. There we go. Inside side send, this one's going to be 16 going towards the front. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Count all those two. I'm going to cut out an extra one just so I can jump up really quickly. Uh, but there we go. Create a couple of steps. Jump out, put that one up, and put these going down like that. That's where your trains go. So there we go. That's the little front part. Um, got a little door to go in. Got a little uh, door here. So we're going to put that in and also put in just a normal door on the front because it's kind of part of it and I don't want to miss it out. But then we're going to start just working our way up. Uh, it's mainly just adding bits onto it. Uh, the top part is very, very complicated, so that's going to take the longest. Uh, but I guess what we can do in the meantime is if you grab your like uh, grey colour, you can, you can actually fill in this deck. Yep. <laughs> so all of this top part, if you fill this in, because we're going to be doing like a really quick part down here anyway, so fill that in in the meantime anyway. Okay, and now we're just going to put in this like little door thing. Um, so we're going to count over five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to cut out five. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be three high in total, so cut that out as well. So it's just on this front piece here. What we're going to do is we're going to put in the striper material, or just alternating yellow and black, yellow, black, yellow. No, it's not like that. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, whatever. Uh, we're then going to need some sort of material for an actual door. Now, in my text pack, I've got the cyan stained clay as actually a shutter door. So I'm going to be using this. There you go. So you can see that looks pretty good. Another thing you can do, if you've got, for example, default text pack, which looks kind of pretty good with this, is using stone slabs. Now, in my text pack, it's like a solid block. But um, most of them have the split in between. It actually does look kind of... That's the closest you can get to it anyway. And then we're going to count over five. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, we're going to cut out and put a door in. Just a normal door. So it's got five block gap there as well. But that will do it for the actual little front bit. Uh, you can obviously put a pressure plate there if you want to. But now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on what's going to be pretty difficult, I think. So I'm going to have a look at this and uh, see how we can split it up. Okay, so if you come around to the back of the ship, what we're now going to be doing is just these side pieces. So this is where the smaller craft are actually situated. Um, I've got a small zodiac type craft here. Uh, these ones I have tutorials for, so I won't be going over them, but I will show you where to place them. Uh, just the same as the one there, and there'll be a link in the description for them. So anyway, starting at the back, and if we come right to the side, what we're going to do is in line with this one, just coming off this, we're going to go up by a total of eight. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. 7 and 8. I'm going to double check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. They're going to move in towards the ship, but still going up, like this. And that's going to be a 5, so you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now there's going to be a 6 plot gap down here, going towards the front of the ship. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm just going to go up by 3 blocks. 1, 2, 3. But that's going to join across like this. And then what we're going to do is go have another 6 plot gap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be another 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That goes in with a 5. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then join across. So join this across here. And what you need to do is again join this going across. And join that going across to the back. 
Now on this back part where we've got the hanger, we're just going to add two blocks, one, two. Then counting this one, it's going to go across by six. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then connect that in. And if we just grab our hull, well not hull colour, our deck colour. Just fill this all in. Right down here. There we go. Let's fill up all this. There we go. And that there as well. And now what we're going to do is going to put iron bars on the side pieces like around here or fence or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to do that quickly. I'm going to use my the actual metadata version of it. So anyway, let's put that going across. That goes all the way around these bits. And right over here. So if I just put that in. There we go. Here and all the way to that bit there. Now down on the bottom as well, we can actually put these in here as well. Just iron bars to this point. So there we go, iron bars down there. Now the iron bars do pretty much go all the way to the front. So actually we might as well do that uh, if we just drag this all the way here. So there we go. Just grab your iron bars all the way to eventually. Over here. There we go, to that point. And then again, just switch these over. So I'm just going to run into them. That's the easiest way to do it with the stick. And actually, they're going quicker than I am, so. I can actually do it. Yeah, well, kind of. There you go. So it's got that, and I've taken out that one, but that's fine. There we go. So this gives us an actual frame. If you actually grab your ladder as well, just on this point, we're going to put ladder going up the back. So this is to get to the top. It's pretty insecure, <laughs> but uh, one thing you can do is you can even go around with fence like this. You have to extend it a loads, or you can do iron bars going around. Uh, you can do stuff like that. It just always looks a little bit too big and too chunky. So I don't usually do it. Not on everything anyway. Or just do it when I have lots of space to fill. Um, but if we just do this on the other side as well. It's quite nice and easy. So in line with this one. It's going to be on this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Moves in and has the 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a six spot gap, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go up by three, one, two, three. Join this across. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six gap. And then you're going to go up by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm just going to ignore the rain for the time being. They go up by five. So five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then join this across. There we go. Right to there. And now I can't ignore the rain, so here we go. Clear that. Join these ones going across as well. And then this one goes into the wall. So there we go. Connect that in. On the black, on the black, on the back, add two. And then this can be six in total. So you get one, two, three, four, five, and six. Add that to the side. Fill up the floor. There we go. All of this you need to fill up, so. There we go. Like that. Then you're going to put your iron bars on. And then what we'll do is we'll fly over there and we'll have a look. And see what uh, or where I actually put them. For the actual tutorial ones that I'm not going to be showing you. But I do have a tutorial and there'll be one in the description for. Oh my god, I'm not doing so well today. There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to do the ones on the bottom all the way to there. I'll do that on another section. But over here what I've done is you've got all of these ones facing the front of the ship and that's including these ones here and they're in the same place you're going to leave a one block gap at the back um, so where you've got these pieces here these are like the small well this is the closest I could get to a propeller um, so yeah you've just got those in there there's a two block gap there from the front got one block gap so basically it's going to sit right in the middle of this and then I've just used another brick fence just to come down from it and it is one, two, three, and then it's on the fourth block. Three block gap there. Your three block gap over here. Put those in. Just connect them down um, until you can actually connect in. I couldn't connect into this one, so I went into the next one. Uh, that'll give you these small troop transport type things uh, that are actually on the side. So if you want to put those in as well, feel free to do so. I'm just going to continue my iron bars going across to here. Um, I won't be putting them all on my tutorial, but you know you guys can do that. So. Let's count on the next bit. Okay, and now for the next section. So we're just going to be moving on from this back piece here. We're just going to keep on basically uh, moving forward. So we've only got another one of these like platforms to do, which is what we're going to do now. They've got this weird 
thing. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to call it. But anyway, we're going to have a five block gap. So one. Actually, if I do this in. Yeah, I'll do this in this. One, two, three, four, five. This one's only going to go up by three blocks. One, two, three. So I'll just knock out those. Next bit, we're going to have a gap of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's going to be the eight, five, one that we did earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Moving in towards the ship, we're going to go up by five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, same as that one. And get rid of that. You can then, again, join over to this point, like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a seven block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, go up by three blocks this time. One, two, three. And you can actually join this across. So, there we go. And I might as well count it in that way, actually. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the next one. This one goes up while you're eight, and then you're five. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five. Join these two together, so it should work out perfectly. There you go. So, you're going to have one of those kind of crane pieces. Uh, now, on the front part, so close to the ship, we're just going to have two going this way, weirdly. Don't know why I didn't join across. I'm actually going to join it across in mine. And also on the back, I'm just going to do the same. So it's just going to be over by one on each side. Grab your cobblestone, and we're just going to fill all of this, all of this in. Um, there you go, just the same as before. There we go. So fill this all in. I'm only going to show it on one side this time, because I don't think there's uh, too much point showing it on the other, because it is exactly the same. Now we've got this back platform here. So we're actually going to put in a, a small Zodiac. As you can see over here, we've got a tiny little Zodiac, which is a, a very small, kind of fast craft. Um, if you guys want to put in the same boat on that part as well, and you can just remember to take out most of these iron bars. You'll probably have loads of iron bars that will get destroyed while making the boat. Just try and make it look nice. Uh, I think on this one, I only have the iron bars on the back. Actually, I don't have them connected across here. I've only got a little bit on there, so don't worry about you know getting rid of them completely. Anyway, on this back platform, so hopefully you guys can see that one, that kind of middle one. Leave two blocks, go up by four, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have one, and then a one like this. So pretty easy, very, very, very simple, um, just in that point there. We're then just going to go down by about two, I think it is. So it's two, put down a stone slab, add two to the back, one, two, then add three to the front. So there's the front there, one, two, and three. Then on each of these sides, we're just going to go out. We have the light grey wool, and just kind of outline this. So there we go, and here as well. We could have done actually going down one more, possibly. Yeah, if we go down one more. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to remember it all in my head to, to get this tutorial out as quickly for you guys as possible. So we're going to have my three in total. Then we're going to have this one here. Add two to the back, add three to the front. One, two, three. Then we're just going to go around and outline. There we go. That looks a little bit better. That looks like what I've got over on the other side. There we go. So we put that in there. Right here, going to put in an extra block. And that extra block is going to have a stone brick stair onto it. So that's like a control panel type uh, thing to actually drive it. Um, and then on the back, we're just going to go over with our never brick fence like this. So just over arcs it. And then that will give you this uh, side piece. And the other thing we need to do is go around with your iron bars. So here we go. Iron bars. Put that in. Uh, one other piece that I did notice on mine is there's actually a door behind this piece. So with this one, um, because it's so big, the decks are actually just two blocks, and then you've got a deck, and then two blocks, and then you've got a deck. Two blocks, and then you've got a deck. Kind of up to you if you want to make it a little bit different and you have steps going down. Um, that's just how I did it, because that was the only way I can make it look realistic. Otherwise, it looks... I did try it up here, and adding those extra blocks makes it look just massively out of scale. Uh, whereas this one looks in scale, but yeah. You've got really small decks on this one, unless you want to make... For example, the, the inside ones, you know, slightly different, and they just have steps going down into these places. Maybe? I don't know. But anyway, put in your boat as well on this point, and we'll keep on moving on to the front bit. We're going to just make this uh, kind of deck piece that comes out and then goes back in, but put this on the other side as well. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, and now for the next bit, so what we're going to do is we just build off basically this point. We're going to have... A total gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm counting underneath this one. So in a way it's five fences, I guess. Uh, but this one's going to go all the way to the top. And by top I mean in line with this one. So, yeah. Just do it to there. 
get rid of that. And then I'm going to have a four block gap, one, two, three, four, and then this one's going to go all the way as well, like that. So get rid of those as well. Then we're going to have a five block gap, one, two, three, four, five, and this one's going to go all the way to the top. There we go. So these are going to be our main kind of posts. Now between these two here, this this kind of like front ones, uh, we're just going to leave a two block gap. One, well, this is going to be a uh, kind of ground. If we actually just join these two together and join this one together and add two on the back, then that goes in. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll just do that for the time being. Um, actually, we might as well do the next bit as well. <laughs> if we go to the front part, let's build an extra layer of blocks on this one. And on this side, we're just going to add one. And it's just going to go one, 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 and then one. So it should just work its way out to there. And yeah, we'll just leave that. I don't think there's any other bits. I'm having a quick look. Nope, that's good. Uh, so down here on this level, uh, if we actually do, let's fill up this. So I'm doing this in a very strange way, but if we just fill up the deck, there we go. It's very, very difficult to figure out how to actually show you guys these. There we go. Fill in that, and if we just grab our blocks, we're just going to put in extra blocks on those bits there. Those two. I think that's what I've done on my other one. I can't quite remember. Probably. Uh, we're then going to leave two blocks. I go to the third one, and this is where we're going to be joined across. So here, so we're just going to join across to this point. There we go. There you go. You can see that there. So you get this kind of like mini deck here. Uh, right on the back piece, it's just going to go straight across. On the front, however, it just goes one and then one, like this. And if we just go in again and fill up the deck. Oh, there we go. Fill up the deck here, and all I did is put in iron bars on these pieces. So. Even here, wrapping around, and I think I even went to here to wrap it around, maybe, something like that. And across to these bits, we're just going to wrap around or put in. And I've just realised that I am actually stuck now, so I had to break through, put down one of those, and then go out, so there we go. I don't know why I used the water thing. So you get this piece here, right in the middle of this, we're just going to have three blocks, one, two, and three. It's some sort of connected piece, I don't know what really what it is. Uh, but that gives us this tiny deck. You could obviously, obviously as well just cut out a door. doesn't matter where. It really doesn't. You can have it on the front. You can have it on the back. I'd just cut one out there. Uh, obviously this is the same on the other side as well. And what we can do here is... Actually if we just switch out that deck piece. Yeah, we might as well put in this block here. doesn't matter if it's exactly the same as that one. And we're just going to cut through to this bit. And you have to switch out these. So this gives us the nice side extension. Um... Leave that block. <laughs> I think it'll look a little bit weird if we extend that anymore. Or we could do that. Yeah, why not? Doesn't matter. There we go. Put in that. Now what we're going to do is you're going to go around the whole thing with iron bars. So, all the way from here, all the way to the back, we're going to do iron bars. So I won't do this with you guys. The only bit you need to really worry about, or not really worry about, but um, leave the iron bars. So you'll bring the iron bars to here, but make sure that you can still get up on this ladder. Um, so yeah, put all of those in. Do the same uh, on the other side as well. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Hopefully. Um, and then what we can do is, we're probably going to start from the back. Or we're going to start from the side. I'm I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, guys. But I think we'll end up with the bridge section. Um, these towers are pretty complicated, so I think probably smokestacks, and then build up this back piece, and build this, well not the smokestacks, the tower pieces with the antennas. They're pretty complicated, we'll do those. Do all these details, get onto the bridge, get it done, but we are getting there. So, do the same on the other side for this part, and we'll keep on going. Okay, so we're now going to build the smokestacks. Now, these are only on one side, they aren't on the other. So unless I tell you to do, actually, unless I show you to do it on one, the other side. Let's go with that, because uh, we've done all the bits that are kind of symmetrical, which is, if I just fly over here, two side bits, you can see that there's the two smokestacks we've got here, and we've got the towers, so... I'm just going to do it all 100% with you guys for this top bit. I think that's, that's the easiest way, unless I just say like for the deck or something. Actually, I can even do that because they're only small. Anyway, if you go to the back, facing the kind of front and on the right side, we are going to have a gap of 12. So you got one. Nope, not there. One. You can see I'm just doing it on top of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this is where we put down the block. There you go. So you've got a 12 block gap. So 12 of these iron bars, or iron, yeah, iron bars, there you go, from here. Now, this is going to go a total of 7 this way, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
It's going to be five wide in total, so you got one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. This first bit's going to be three high, so build this one up uh, to three high. There we go. I'm just going to go all the way around it here and here as well. And also up here. There we go. So we get that. Now there's the front again. I'm just going to move back by one right to here. There we go. Like that. And again, I'm just going to go around the outside. This is actually going to be three high as well. So it's going to be one, two, three. So then we can just build this up like that. And go around, go around like this. And there. Put it at the back. That'll give us a nice little uh, back section. If you grab some black wool, just cut out here, which is going to be a 2 by 3 there, and then one here as well, which is just going to be a 3. And we're just going to fill that in black wool. So fill that with black wool. That's just on the back side, not on the front. So if we now go into the middle part, we're just going to go down by one block and just fill all of this in with black. And in the middle, just the two middle ones you can actually cut out. So there we go, you can see there's two middle ones there. I think it's probably easy to show you from, from there. And there you go, you've got a deck. If you wanted to, you could bring this all the way down through the ship so that you can actually uh, you know, connect up with the engines. Uh, it does go down a fair while. Actually, it just only goes down to there. Okay, well, you're going to have to do some clever stuff. I don't really know how they actually work on this ship. But anyway, there we go, that's that one there. So that's the first one. Then we've got another one. We're going to have a gap, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to use slabs actually, we're going to have a gap of 14 this time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, then what we're going to do again, exactly the same, 7, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, going to build exactly the same, uh, exactly the same as this, so 5 wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Two, three, four, five, and it's going to be three high. So build this up to three high. So I'm going to go a little bit faster through this one. So if you do get stuck, you can always watch that one again. There we go. And then on the front part, so there we go, front of the ship. Move back by one block here, but it's the rest is going to be on top. And this is again going to be three high. Like this, and there, there, and an extra one. Like that and there to that point and again on the back you get on here cut out these cut out these put these in with black wool with black wool there and then again one block down so they fill us all in with black wool and again cut out those two if you want to do some smoky stuff you can you can either use glass colored glass or cobwebs something like that that will do absolutely fine so just got a last little detail there's a little um antennary piece. So if you grab your slabs just for the front one, put the slabs on here, just one block down, grab cobblestone wool, and right in the middle we're just going to go up with two cobblestone wool, then we're going to need another brick fence, and there's going to be four of those, so you go one, two, three, and four. It's got that one sensor on like that. So those are the two smokestacks that we have on the sides. So we'll get onto this little back section here, uh, what I've decided to do is do all the major details, and then we're going to go through the minor details and like sweep through uh, afterwards, because I think it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, and now for the kind of like, um, I guess the hangar control, the flight deck control. I don't know, something like that anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, come to the back, and you can be on either side, it's obviously directly in the middle. Uh, but what we're going to do here is if you just can't block, I'm going to use using these really bright sponge ones, we're going to have a 10 block gap. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 blocks in total from that one, just directly on top. And then we're just going to be one block forwards here. This is our starting point. So there we go. We're just going to have this one block forwards. So this is going to go across. Um, and I've just had to check. Yeah, it isn't even on the other side. So make sure you count from this side, 10 block gap, then get to this one. This is going to go across by 10. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then just put slabs underneath this, just normal stone slabs. And we can obviously get rid of these iron bars behind it now. Like that. Um, then what we're going to do is, towards the front of the ship here, we're just going to have three blocks. One, two, three. Then we're going to have, go out, we have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Then going across the back, we've got 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then this just connects straight across. It's a really weird shape. So yeah, we've got this weird like shaped thing here, like this. Very odd. Uh, this is going to be three high in total, so just build this up. Like that. And there we go. Go all the way across. Here and here as well. Continue to build all this up. Like this. There we go. Like that. That will give us a nice kind of base. Right on the front piece, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out these. Like this. And we're going to put in the last pieces. Okay, so slight change. Just this wall on the left hand side, we just need to move over to here. There we go. So that back piece does go 11, but it just doesn't join straight. I thought there was something looking a little bit off a bit. But, um, I mean, the whole thing does look off. It's very odd. It's a very odd ship, this. <laughs> I know it took ages. There we go. So that's the shape you should actually have. Now if you grab your cobblestone, or grey, or whatever it is, your main hole colour, let's fill it in. This one is only too high. Uh, if you need it higher, add an extra block onto the wall. You know, you can always do that. So there we go. There we go. Fill up all this there. And all the way across to these pieces as well. There we go. And up to here. Okay, all that. That will give us the actual deck. So, there we go. You can see in here, if you actually go inside as well. Um, and when we actually get the smoke stacks in, I should be able to say where you can put a door in. But this gives you a really good view of the back actual flight deck, I think it does anyway. At least on my settings. If you go in closer, yeah, it still does. But, um, yeah, I'm usually on 90. But for tutorialing. Tutorialing and stuff. So now if we can find the actual middle. This is the middle at the back because the front is obviously weird. Um, so this is the middle. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is actually going to be, and if you grab your sponge, we're going to go free. Or again, you can do the stripey bit. Same gun that we got at the front here. So however you've done that, so you've got three, one, not down there, one, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, and one. There's a couple more pieces that will change, uh, but we'll get onto that in a bit. So then we're going to build another one of these guns that we got on the front, the goalkeeper. Make a cross right in the middle. Then make a 3x3 three three box on top of this. Build that up to twice as much. Right in the front, cut that one out and add three cobblestone wool. One, two, three. Right behind this one, add a white piece of wool. On the... well, depends. If you've got the gun facing backwards, on the left hand side, yeah, I guess it's the left hand side, yeah. It's going to have a block here, it goes up by to a total height of three. Then grab a never brick slab. Double that on that one, and then add one to each side like this. You get your weird little goalkeeper thing. It really does look odd, doesn't it? But yeah, that will give you your door. Oh, no, your door, your main thing. I'm pretty sure the door for this one is here, and also here. So you've just got one block on each of them, and then that allows you to actually walk inside and walk around. Uh, the only other thing we need to do, I don't think, uh, just from first glance, there isn't any iron bars going around this, but you could put iron bars going around. Uh, another thing you can do is grab cobblestone wool and also never rig fence just to do sensor junk. Sensor junk is just like cobblestone wool and random fences around. Uh, it really is. And, and that's that's it. It just makes it look a little bit more interesting. Up to you if you want to do that. Uh, you can do that on loads of decks, just don't do it on the flight deck. <laughs> that was a look really weird. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to get onto this first mast, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But it'll be alright. Okay, and now for the back mast. Now, like most of the things on the ship, it's not going to be simple. We're just going to build the basic part of it first. And then we're going to put all the fences on because... Yeah, it's just stupid. <laughs> anyway, find the middle of this piece. And we're just going to go across by five. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be four high, so one, two, three, four. Build this all the way up. There we go, like that. And then this piece is going to go seven. Counting that one, so you've got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there we go. You can build this across here, and it's just straight across these pieces. So it's just a nice big square um, as a base for this. There we go. And over here as well. Just put this in. Go all the way over this point and there. So that is the first little bit. 
The next one we're going to have is a three here, then five, one, two, three, four, five, then a three, then a five, just like that, nice and simple. Now we're going to have three of them here, and then we're going to add one onto the back of each of them. It's a little bit weird, but then we're going to have three blocks here, one, two, three, and the same here, so we've got three blocks, then add one onto the back. It's kind of like that, it's, it's kind of, that should be the easiest way to d describe it, I think. Uh, next one is going to be one, one, then three. Then one, one. So one, three, one. There you go. So you should have that. Kind of like a weird little shape there. And then the next one is going to be three. And then three. Then three. So you get this. Very, very simple uh, kind of shape like this. Now what happens on this one is it switches to black. Now black does not show up. Right, you can't see any like definition on those ones. Black doesn't show up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making mine out of blue. I think blue is actually one of the better colours. It's dark enough to show that it's supposed to be dark, but it still shows up. It might look a little bit weird on this one, but I've already done, I think I've already done a black blue ring, haven't I? Yeah, so it'll be alright. <laughs> but you guys will be making it out of black wool, so if you remember that. So, first thing I'm going to do is just going to have three, 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 three like that. Same as we got had on the last layer. This will be three blocks high, so you got this here. Make this three blocks high in total. There we go. There we go. So you got three blocks high in total with that piece there, like that. Then we're going to have one, one, and one. Let's just continue on like this. Just making it a little bit smaller. We've got lots of sets of ones, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks here. One, two, three. And this will go all the way around. So it's just like a three box, uh, three wide on the top of this. This is actually going to be two blocks high. So double this one up. There you go. So you've got that one double up. Then we're going to have one. Well, we're just going to have a cross. And that's going to be three high in total. So build a cross, make it three high, put one on the top. That's what you'll have for it. It's a little bit complicated, I think. It's a little bit more complicated anyway. Now what we're going to do is we've got to fill it with loads and loads of uh, cobblestone wool and never break fences. It's, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult. But I'm sure that I hope we have to teach it in a good way. I'm just going to go and stare at that for the next hour. Okay, so now for the details on this this kind of mast section, I guess. Only on the left-hand side of the ship, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a block here and then a block here. So we've got two blocks there. And then we're going to put a cobblestone wall on that and put a white piece of wall. And it's only on that side. It's not on the other one. You could put it on the other side. No reason why you can't, but um, yeah. Next bit we're going to do is right on the sides, we're going to go five with your fence. One, two, three, four, five. Next one down, we're going to go three, one, two, three, then a one. Give it this side piece, so five, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, and oh, three, and then a one. Like that. In each of these corners, we're going to put a fence in. Like this as well. And right on the top, we're going to have two cobblestone walls, and then we're going to have three fence. One, two, and three. Like that. So, we get that. Uh, we're actually going to have just, just for the time being, put just one fence on there. Uh, I did see on one of mine that it had one going off to the side, like this. You can do that, so it's on the opposite side of that one. Why not? Um, but right on the back, so there we go, there's a flight deck. Well, we've got this last piece here, which is going to go to this piece, and we're going to go three blocks. One, two, three. Then add one on top and go to three. So you've got three of them here, then three of them here. From this point, we're just going to go here, and then we're going to start stepping down until it should match into this point. And that's it. So it's not too bad. I was expecting it to be a little bit worse. Um, but yeah, you can either, you know, double up these. You can put them going both to the side. I guess I just didn't think it looked that good, but yeah. There you go. You can, you know, you can be a little bit random with it. This mast looks a little bit strange. <laughs> but anyway... We're going to get on to the next mast, then we're going to do all the little details around this part to just completely just cut off that bit. They've only got the bridge to do, which um, is also pretty complicated. Okay, and before I completely forget, we're actually going to go back to the back. I completely forgot to put the door in, the actual uh, hangar door type thing. Well, I think it's a hangar door, I don't really know. Um, if you go to the right hand side again, there's the front. There. <laughs> and to poke over nails, but we're gonna leave a I just grab I'll grab white wall. I'm gonna leave a twelve block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And of course it's gonna rain, because that's what it does, and I've already miscounted anyway. See it's all good, isn't it? 
great tutorials. Um, there we go, 12. So we've got a 12 block gap. We're then going to cut out 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's going to be 6 high. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And just cut all of this out. And then again, whatever you used on the front for that kind of uh, door, we're going to put that in here. There we go. And build that all the way up. Build that all the way up. All the way up like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to grab a glowstone block because I might as well show where this goes. So obviously remember this. There we go. This kind of uh, walkway. If you want to have this going all the way up, you can do this ramp. So, you know, if you wanted to have it all going all the way up, feel free to cut out this point. Um, on my one, I cut through the walls here. And I'll just show that again, uh, just in case you guys want to do that. Uh, so there we go. Come through here. And if I just could think about shaders, is walking around with a block of glowstone is really good. Um, let's see. Here we go. Jump down here. So there we go. So what I did here is I just brought this ramp up from this bottom section. Got all the vehicles. I uh, got loads of them. And I've got vehicle tutorial playlist. If you guys want to just scan through, have a look at the ones you want because there might be some you don't, but um, all I did is with this deck here, just completely ignored it, basically, that small tiny little deck, uh, I didn't like it too much, so yeah, I ignored that one and, okay, and just built this all the way up to here and it should kind of line up, and I just had this boxed around, I have no idea what else what I was going to actually do with it, but um, yeah, hopefully that gives you guys an idea anyway, back to this stack Okay, and then for the next mast, so we're just going to build this one kind of uh, as this one as a reference, so we're just going to leave a five block gap. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to have seven wide, so place down a block, add three to each side. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. Take away this guide. This is also going to be seven going this way, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a perfect seven by seven box. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be four high, so add an extra three blocks onto it, like this. As you can probably hear in my voice, I'm starting to get knackered now because I've been doing this for so long. It's quite a long tutorial. I always try and do them within two days, which uh, probably this one needs a little bit longer than that. <laughs> but anyway, that'll give us the base for it. It's the first part. The next bit is going to be 5, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5, there we go, you got just 5s there. We're now on to the black layer, which is also this 5, so it's just directly on top. Again, I'm using blue because it's easier and it shows up better, and everything like that. But this one's going to be twice as high, so I'm just going to add an extra layer on top. Nice and easy for that one, isn't it? There we go. Like this, and then there. And again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have a three, one, two, three, then a one, then a three, one, two, three. So this is just going to continue around. Really nice and basic shapes on these ones. This is going to be too high as well, so just add an extra layer on top. Just like this. There we go. Like that. So then we've got that high. Then we're going to just do a one. Then we're going to have an L shape. Now, it's kind of hard to explain. If we just put a 1 directly in the middle of these, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a block directly on top of this one and add it in behind. And it'll be in behind. And we get this kind of like L shape. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, that's what we're going to do anyway. So it's like uh, it's like going two across, but it's also going two across on each side, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to explain that one the best way. I don't think anyone does. It's just not. It's, it's easy, but it's, yeah, you know. <laughs> anyway. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a three and a three. So you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like this. So you get that. It's going to be three high in total. So add an extra two layers just on top. Let's build it up. An extra two there and an extra one there. Next extra one here. So there you go. You get that one. Then you're going to have a one, one, and one. So you're just going to have loads of these ones just like we did before on this one. Very similar, it's just a little bit bigger. So we've got one, one, one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a 3x3 three three box. So we're just going to have a box here like this. Directly on top, you see, 3x3. Three three. Yep. It's going to be free high as well, so add an extra two layers. Build this one up as well. There we go. So build that one up. Then you're going to make a cross section, and it's going to be too high. Let's make a cross, too high, add one onto the top. 
there we go so we got that one um it's pretty similar to that one it's just a little bit more uh, i don't know something extra little bit we can actually add is where we've got now how's the easiest way to do it well we've got this little one here it's going to add an extra three blocks one two three one two three one two three and it's actually four <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've read three as a four. But yes, four blocks extra. And it's on the other side as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so that's given us the base. So again, we're going to just... Well, I'm going to go and stare at that for a while. Write down a load of random numbers which somehow equate to uh, putting down signs. So uh, yeah, let's get that done. Okay, so um, all the actual details. This is stupidly easy compared to the other one. Uh, don't ask why I'm grabbing yellow wool. Well for the actual iron bars. We're going to wrap iron bars around this section anyway here. So again, I'm going to use that metadata one. I'm just showing you guys. Well, I'm using the yellow wall to make a horrible Swedish. Swedish? Swedish. Yes. don't know why I've gone Dutch on that, but um, Swedish. Sweet. I can't even speak today. That's probably why this tutorial is taking a while. <laughs> so there you go. Put iron bars around those. Put one in here. That's a cobblestone wall. Uh, you're going to make a one. Then you're going to make a cross kind of shape. And then put one on top. Same on the other side as well. So there. Cross shape. This is very good. Okay. And now what you're gonna do is on the side, right here you're gonna go three. One, two, three. And you have a two, you have a one. Same on the other side. One, two, two, three. Two and then a one. In these gaps we're just gonna put up two pieces of never brick fence. Uh, right on the front. So there you go, front of the ship. Go down by one block, go up by four. One, two, three, four. We have a three, two, and a one. And I think I did, yeah, I did more. On the back, do a five. One, two, three, four, five. Right at the top. And then you're going to have a four. One, two, three, and four. There are three. One, two, three, two, and then a one. So really simple. And then on each of these corners, we're just going to have iron bars just by themselves so that they do that weird thing that they do uh, when they aren't connected and right in the middle we're going to have a cobblestone wall right in the middle, there we go and on top of this we're going to have a quartz slab and then we're just going to angle this one off one way and angle it off the other way and I'm actually going to make this one a little bit longer as well, I don't know if I did on mine but that's what I'm going to do on this one on this version, so there we go, we've got this like spinning antennae bit that, that's honestly it so that's pretty good. Um, what we're now going to do, we're actually going to put in the bottom floor for this because there's there's pieces we can actually uh, kind of base it off. It, it kind of makes more sense if we do it that way. You'll see what I mean anyway. So we're going to just put in the bridge kind of base. Okay, and now for the bridgey section bit, or at least the base of it, we're going to do the top uh, thing <laughs> later on. <laughs> I'm definitely getting tired. So you need to find the middle anyway. Use this big thing that we've got here. Go all the way until we hit right into the front. There we go. I'm just going to put down. Actually, we're going to leave a two block gap. So leave two of the grey. Then have a block here. Then what we're going to do is going to add ten to each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, if we just do one side of the time, we're just going to do a one here. Then we're going to have a five going kind of like a normal ship way, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. We have two going inwards like this, two hooking in. Then going normal shipway, we're going to have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And this will go and join across the back. Just do the same on the other side. I'll give you guys an aerial shot in a second. So you've got one here, five going across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, two going across this way, then 12. And this will just connect up. So I'm just going to connect this up and then give you an aerial shot. There we go. This is what you should have. Pretty easy. So you've got the 21 at the top, 1, a 5, 2 going across this way, it's always difficult to show, 12 going the normal way, and then just a straight back, like that. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to build this up to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I was just planning on leaving this section in while we do the rest of the back detailing, but um, why the hell not? Why the hell not build it up, you know? Yeah, might as well. Exactly. I think you agree. <laughs> we can, we might as well, so we're going to just have it four high in total, so there we go, there we go, build up, build up, and yeah, as you can see it's a pretty big bridge section, because it's a very big ship, I think it needs to be because of um, 
You're carrying loads of marines and soldiers on land as well. It kind of acts as a command ship as well, as well as just like a normal you know, ship for carrying stuff. It's kind of got an extra purpose, so uh, yeah. I did do think I made this a bit tall uh, compared to my normal ones. I probably would have made it just one block shorter, but it gives you more space to work with, and since I've done it on the other one and it looks okay, I might as well do it that way. There we go, so if I keep on moving around forever, um, because it's quite big, there we go, that's what we'll get. Um, obviously what you need to do is you need to fill it up as well, so if you grab your cobblestone and at some point, I'll actually do it later on, but we'll, we'll have that going across. Uh, what we do need to grab is glass, and what we need to do is leave two of these, so there we go, right in the middle, we're just going to put in glass, so it's got lots of windows. That's going to be this entire front bit. There we go, going all the way across to here is going to be glass, so let's fill up this. Like that, and yep, there as well. There, and on the side as well, this one is going to be glass, this five is going to be glass. And even this two, I believe, is going to be glass. So what I advise doing on this corner piece is actually putting in a full block like that. That just gives you a solid wall, um, and then a good place to put a door would actually be like maybe here, possibly, or here. Somewhere around there would be alright. Um, yep, let's just do this on the other side as well, so cut out these ones. Doing it from the inside this time. Let's build that one up and there. These twos. There we go. Like that. So, fill up this entire deck as well. This top deck, because uh, there's going to be a lot sitting on it. But what we're going to do now, oh, after after filling in that, after you paused and done that, we're going to fill up this weird stuff that we've got on the deck. I'm going to try and figure out if it actually bears any resemblance or if it's just random. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so for the actual next bit, it, they're, pr they're pretty much just random. <laughs> they really are. Uh, there is, however, a line going across here that's actually iron bars. So, again, I'm going to be using the metadata version, so I'm just going to be using it oh, this for the time being. And switching it over. So it goes from that um, thing. That's good. Yeah, the, the smokestack all the way across. Because uh, I saw in a video that somebody was touring on this and just actually walking around the real ship. And a weird iron bar going across here uh, to get into this bit. I don't know why. So yeah, just cut out somewhere. It doesn't really matter. I've just done it two blocks over. I've cut out one. Doesn't really matter. Probably the same on the other side. Let's go like one, two. Yeah, I'll do. It's different anyway from the other side. Um, yeah, the actual stuff on deck doesn't seem to be, you know, supposed to be there. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to do a couple of different variations. Um, somewhere around the other side where you haven't got the smokestacks, we're going to grab our kind of sponge or yellow and black alternating and uh, we're just going to do this kind of circle like a free and a free and a free doesn't matter where it is but yeah grab your cobblestone wall make a cross shape go up by two times or just one yeah just one times and then go three two three and go four actually let's go four and on the one down just add one onto each side and we get something like that that looks all right uh over here as well we're just going to put a random one just go up by two and then go maybe three of those like that and uh, we could just have it going out to the sides uh, this time at the top maybe like that gives us one of those uh, over on this side let's do one uh, probably in between these I'll do something it's gonna have just like a little one I've seen like one of these on my other one so we're just gonna have one of those and then go up by three so a straight pole like that uh, now what we can do so if you grab just light grey wool, put down a couple of these like box type things and grab some buttons as well because that always looks good. Same as what I did on my like uh, battleships. So put down two boxes, put some buttons on it, put some slabs on top. Right here looks a little bit empty, let's do something there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Put some on the top of here, so this is a bigger one. Uh, it doesn't really matter with these, you know. It doesn't matter where they are, they're just kind of like little details which add a bit. And here I think we need a big one. One, two, three. I'm gonna go four. There we go. Really big thing. <laughs> I know what it is, but we've got one. And um, put some buttons on. And I'll put one, another one, like a final one over there as well. So there you go. That fills up that. And yeah, one here. Probably a small one over here as well. 
And I just put in all of this. And put in some buttons. And then put another one like this way. Maybe going this way this time. Yep, there we go. Put some buttons on it. Right, then have a look at that. So there we go. Tiny little bits of details, just making stuff up, pretty much. But I have seen stuff like this on the ship. It's just that positions don't really matter too much. Uh, it's kind of roughly got a big one over there. So what we've got left is just the uh, top of the bridge, really. Uh, in the meantime, what we can do, and it's a bit I forgot to actually do, uh, just on the outside of these bits, we're going to put, uh, well, iron bars. So going across these. So we go, we've got iron bars just on this part. doesn't go anywhere behind here. Just on this side part here, and it goes around the front. So I'm going to use the sponge here to show you guys what I mean. There we go. Just bring this here. Put one there, then. So this bit, put on your iron bars. And bring this all the way to the front as well. There we go. There we go, like that. And uh, yeah, now let's get on to the final bit. Okay, so for the next bit, we're going to start building on top of the bridge. Yay, we're getting near the end. It's so exciting. So we need to find the middle of this again. And I can kind of clearly see it, but um, just in case, make sure you get the middle of this. And then bring it back somehow. And yeah, so we're going to leave five of the greys. One, two, three, four, five. Place down a block, so there we go. That's that's in relation where it is on top of this bridge section. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add ten. No, not ten to each side. It's going to be thirteen across inside, so it's going to be six on each side. So add six is what I'm saying. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. God, so much easier, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there we go. Now if we go turn to the side, this one is going to be a five across, including that one. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do the same on the other side at the same time. There we go. And now what we're going to do is going to turn around this way, facing the front. And this is going to be, counting this one, four. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Like that. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four in total. Then going across this way. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're then going to go three blocks. One, two, three. So it's just off that. And then again, one, two, three. And then there should be five across the back. And that means you've done it right. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Anyway, let's have a look at this. There we go. That's the shape you should have. We've got 13 in total going across here. This one here is a five. This one here is a four. This is a three. And across the back is a five. Hopefully you guys have got that. I really do hope so. Anyway, we're going to build this up to a total height of four, so just add three more blocks. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going to go around. Now, this is actually part of the next section, but um, we're just putting it in because then we can build everything else around it, if that makes sense. Should do. Because uh, we need to finish it off the lower bit down here, but yeah, it's just so that we have something as a marker as well. It's quite nice. Let's get these in. So there we go. Put that in like that. I completely forgot what else I need to do on this side. Let's just have a quick peek. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got to add two blocks. I think I know what this is. So from here, we're just going to add two blocks down here. So it's just one down. And then this goes down by one more. And this is just going to be completely flat with this one. So I bring this to here. It's actually going to have two blocks on these. And that doesn't quite look right, but I think it might actually be right. Then <laughs> put a uh, cobblestone wall there anyway, and put a light grey wall. I'll check this out in a second. So we've got two here, two here. Go down one more. And then add two more on each side. Then right here, we're going to put in a cobblestone wall. Add a block on there. Now for the floor on this piece, we're actually going to be down one block. So it only makes a really, really small little room down here, but um, that's fine. Don't think you're probably going to... Probably not going to fill it with anything. I don't, I don't think so anyway. So yeah, is that grey wool I'm using now? I don't want to use grey wool. Uh, stick with my cobblestone. That's because I picked up from that evil ship over there that uses grey wool. Not this evil, but um, yeah. Right, okay, so yeah. Use your, your whatever you, your material you're using. This is me being OCD on a ship that I'm never going to use. <laughs> I've still gone through like eight hours of building it again. Anyway, there we go. So that's what you should have. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Okay, so weird things. Um, if we have another glance, yeah. That looks kind of correct. I know where I've gone wrong on this, actually. 
So this wall here just needs to be moved over, so we're just going to cut off this and move it to there. Pretty sure that is all it is because then we have this walkthrough down here which looks correct. And we also have this like balcony up here now. We can even cut out these and yeah we can put in cobblestone. There we go, that's why it didn't look right. Or at least it didn't look right to me. Anyway, we're now going to finish up the rest that's around here. We've got a couple of little guns on the back. we got a couple of little, well not really little sensors, big sensors. Um, and then we can keep on moving. But we've only got this real anvil that sticks out. It's a weird one, but got that after these extra details. Okay, so now for the extra bits, I guess. If we just go to the back, uh, on one side, I we'll actually put right here. So just go diagonal, put a cobblestone wall. And we're going to do a cross straight off the bat. Cross. Then we're going to do a three by three box on top of this with your white wall, and then we're going to do a cross. There we go. So that's what you get for that side. On the other side, I did a free, free, free thing like this, and right in the middle, I had three cobblestone, and then seven leather brick fence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven. <laughs> Seven. There we go. Um, doesn't really matter exactly where the position is. Maybe you want to move it forwards. Maybe you want to jiggle it around. I don't know. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, but that's where it is. Around the front, we're just going to add an extra block in here on these sides. Like that. And then, weirdly, we're going to switch down to here. I'm going to show you where I put my door. I put a door here. The left, a two block gap. And then have a fence going up. A uh, ladder going up. Ladder. Not fence. <laughs> anyway. So here, cut our door, put one in there, leave a two block gap, put up a ladder going up there. Then, if you grab your iron bars, we're just going to have the iron bars going around here. This block actually needs to be switched out. And there we go. This is all going to be, you know, my fence again. Sorry, switching around. So this has got my iron bars there. So it just goes to this point. doesn't go all the way around the front. Uh, same on here. So it goes all the way around the back as well. So there we go. I'm just going to drag this all the way around. Making sure to leave a block for the ladder. And then it wraps around this point, so switch that one out. And put this into there, and then switch these over to iron bars, because we can. That's the one I prefer, so there we go. There we go, and here, get to the front. There we go, so that gives us the uh, kind of basic bit. What I'm now going to do is I'm just going to clear my inventory down. I'm going to grab that sponge. I'm also going to grab uh, stone stairs, cobblestone slab, a block of cobblestone, and also then never brick fence and cobblestone wall. Okay, so we're going to put in these two guns. So we've got one here. So I'm just going to go one, two, three again. If you don't have this texture, just do the, the normal kind of alternating yellow and black. We're going to put in one there. This is going to be one on the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. It's a nice little warning zone. Uh, now for the gun, I'm just going to put cobblestone right in the middle. And actually, I'm not going to do it out of cobblestone. I'm going to do it out of never brick. So I've changed my mind. So just to make it a little bit different from the deck color, so you're just going to put down one. Then you're going to have a stair on the front, upside down stair on the back. Then two slabs connected onto that, and that will make this kind of gun shape. Um, it's not really a gun shape, but yeah, it's the same one I used on my Tegatov class battleship. So I'm still reusing that design from a very long time ago. Then all you need to do is just sensor junk. So one of those there. We're gonna have one of those there. That one's gonna have nothing on it. That one's gonna have a little bit more. And then we're just gonna have one of these, and we're gonna have one of these that goes up to the side, maybe on this. Okay, just one of that sensor junk. Brilliant. And we can do the same on the back as well. Add a couple more little bits of detail. Shove one of these in. Goes up by two. And uh, yeah, so now we've got the anvil. And that's it. That tiny little bit here is all we've got left. So let's do this. Okay, so now for what I call the anvil. Well, I think it looks like an anvil anyway. Um, what we're going to do is from this, oh, bloody hell, from this back section. Actually, first we need to add right in the middle. Just add an extra block. Don't know why it's there. I just saw it on this one, so I added it. Maybe it was by mistake. It's perfectly in the middle if it is by mistake. <laughs> so I don't know, put that there. Uh, this back piece is actually going to be where it situates. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And then it just goes across. Build this up to a total height of two. So there we go. Oh, there we go. Like this. 
That's what you should have. We're then going to have three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like that. Too high, so I build another one on top of it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a one here on each of the sides. But on the back, it's going to go out by one. So it's just going to go out by one here. So you can see it goes a little bit weird. Uh, it's kind of like it being on top, but it's not. Same with the other side as well. You can have this out by one. Like this. And on this one, it actually goes out by one more on the front. So you add an extra one on the front. Now, when we build it up another time, it's going to be straight on top this time. It goes out again. It's this. And then it's also plus one on the front. This goes all the way back. And this also goes over. Hopefully that you guys are following with that. Then all you're going to do is just fill this up. So that's all you got to do. It's just, um, yeah, so from here, if you've got that one block, you go three of these, then one. On the back, you've got just three of them, and then straight across the back. The next layer is just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you get your one. Anyway, we're just going to put these sensors on, and we're done. Okay, so for the final details, right on the back, grab your never brick. Fence. <laughs> Not just never brick, never brick fence. Right underneath this piece, we're going to go there. And just zigzag your way up until the top part, and it just goes out by a little bit like that. Super duper simple. And the next bit we're going to do is going to have right here three cobblestone one, two, and three. Then we're going to have four never brick fence one, two, three, and four. Four. There we go, we get there in the end. And that's just a, a straight one. Right on this front piece here, we're going to have one cobblestone. Then again, we're going to have these going diagonal, just uh, quartz. Slabs, uh, leave a two block gap. So you go two block gap, go up by t two this time and have exactly the same thing. Maybe you can do a bigger one this time, I don't know. Why not? I don't think my other one had a bigger one, but that's it pretty much. Uh, the other thing I did is I just put another sensor like around like this. And that was it. <laughs> so that's what you need to do. So well done in completing the Albion class LPD. It's been a very long tutorial. It's actually been longer than my aircraft carrier tutorial. So this has really been quite taxing. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.